button. Hey, what's up, guys? Malt here. We are back with some Master Detective Archives. Rain Code. I guess I should probably just call it Rain Code. Right? At this point, until we have any potential other entries, which might not happen, but who knows. But, uh, yeah, last time we basically did nothing. This time we're going to basically do everything. Let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. So if anyone doesn't know, made by the same dudes who made Danganronpa. Look, it kind of looks like they're turning the loading wheel. See? Kind of, right? There we go. <laughs> Good job, guys. Just keep dancing that loading wheel. You're, you almost got it. You almost got it. All right, yep. We're still loading. Can't wait to play MDR. I fixed it, okay? So anyways, uh, we learned... Here's the big thing that we learned. First of all, is the game too loud? Guys, is the game too loud? Just, just, tell me, just let me know if the game's too loud. Am I... Am, is everything okay? Question mark? Uh, so far, I've gotten literally no answers, so that's pretty good. Well, yeah, even the music is too loud. I mean, yeah, if the music is too loud, so I guess that means no on the music. Um, I was going to say, for anyone who missed what happened last time, I don't, know if, I don't know if you guys all checked the VODs or whatever. I did have a lot of watch time on the VODs. I don't know how much of that was you guys. But basically, I learned that there are supposed to be five detectives here on this train. And there's six of us. So, sus. All right, fine, fine. Let's hear someone talk, okay? Sheesh. About your power, I can only project my own memories. Unfortunately, I can't show things I myself don't know. Okay, okay, Zang Eraser. In other words, I cannot tell if there are other passengers besides us. You think it's fine? Okay, cool. Do you guys think, uh, in terms of the game itself, should I rebalance the audio and make the voices louder? Oh. I kind of feel like I should. Zongi's photography power probably isn't helpful right now. My my audio right now in my for me right now is kind of whack because this freaking AC is going on, going strong, but I kind of need it, or else my room is gonna become a sauna. Fuck, fuck. What's it? Okay. I'll try that. Why don't we try this first? Okay. Seems good. Um, could you use your forte to prove Aphex's claim? Oh, fortes are, uh, talents. Remember talents from Danganronpa? Those are fortes. That's not possible. With no animals to control here, it's difficult to conduct any sort of investigation on the train. Yo, UDG was top though. I'll, d I'll die on that hill. I liked UDG. <laughs> Even though it was a shit ass game. I mean, it was a basic game. It wasn't a shit game. It was very basic, but I enjoyed it. Unless you're hiding a mouse inside your pocket. Then we can talk. But I also right. went in not expecting it to Sorry. be a Danganronpa game, so... That probably helped. Mm -hmm. Zilch's power to control animals can't be used here. Um, what? You want me to search again? What's the point of that? I'm uh, sorry. I got yelled at. So is this the storyline of what happens uh, after Kibo blasts through the wall? <laughs> um, Melanie, could he crashes you into a lost and found. Anyone else is on board? No way. Same VA. Not yeah. unless there's someone dead in one of the cars. But even if they were, their clothing would still need to be a match for me. Melamy's medium powers won't work. Here. Actually, let me summarize. I don't know how many of you guys know what the fuck. Basically, just assume this is Danganronpa. Everyone here is a master detective. I don't know what the fuck this guy's power is as far as I know. Oh, no, wait. What was his power again? I think he did tell me his power. I forgot what it was, though. This guy can talk to animals and control them and see, that, and see through them. This guy can, like, sense... Oh my, I forgot. Yo, where's my, where's my menu? 
He can like sense presences, but I forgot what means he did that with. Use whatever you gotta to get the job done. Yeah, yeah, shut that. your brain. Oh, shut up! Wait, I only have my own profile? Okay, well, I don't know what my talent is. Wait, wait, it says talent. Bro, it doesn't even say forte. It just says talent. Alright. Anyways, I didn't do anything yet, but I'll save anyway. I'm actually pretty excited to play this. Holy moly. Holy moly, guys. Anyways, her power is that if she wears the same clothes as a victim, as long as she's the same size as them, she can, like, channel them like freaking Maya Fey. And hers is that she can hear so many things all the time, which is why she needs to wear headphones. Also, she's totally not just Chiaki, again, in terms of design. I don't know anything about her personality. Um, Poochie, would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yo, they were like, people were like, dude, we're so sick of you guys making an ultimate detective. Can you guys, like, do something else? Oh, yeah, fine. How about everybody's an ultimate detective? Bitch. Yes. I, Poochie, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing and heartbeats. Shall I try? Yes, please. Hey, what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. I forgot. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. I forgot this was written by the guys who made Danganronpa. So everybody's just going to say exactly what we already know over and over again like five times before we actually progress. Shut. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry. I, you can continue. <laughs> Shut up, you brain dead idiots. No. Pardon me. Would you mind quieting <laughs> down for a bit? I need to concentrate. Same artist, same <laughs> main writer, and same. She director? What was the main guy's director? I forgot. <laughs> and same music dude. <sighs> she has bees for eyes. Bee! You like this character? Of course you do. This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Yeah, I did hear that this game was being developed since the V3 Does was over. Does else hear it? This thing has some What's high development on? time. Which could be bad or good. I finished. So far, the freaking production value looks pretty high, though. I cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of us here. This game took as long as Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom to make. So this is basically the open world of Danganronpa. <laughs> Though one could hold their breath, they still cannot stop their heart from beating. In other words, there's no one else on this train. I, Poochie, guarantee it. See? I you sound like you a so. dog. Your sorry name for like calling you gloomy, name. little girl. What, she, he said sorry? You know, I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but... Aren't our powers kind of the same? I can hear heartbeats from 500 meters away. 500! So you're the useless one. Quiet, you catty bitch! <laughs> Moving on, we've now got proof from two master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. You like Melody? Of course you do. <laughs> Though one may be a lying imposter, you already told me last the time. statement can still be trusted. One of them... An imposter? But Aphex and Poochie both use their fortes. Dude, do you guys think that Aphex has a legend? I could feel them using their powers, so I think it's safe to say both are master detectives. But I'm the only one who can sense their powers. No one else seems to have the same experience. So my secret power is that I know when other people are using their powers? That actually kind of sounds helpful for if, if I'm... Whatever, anyways. Why am I the only one? <laughs> what is this guy doing? I can't What's remember, man. You, old man. 
You gone senile or something? Can you all hear that? The sounds of a running train. The wheels of fate chugging along. All right, thanks for sharing. In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. No one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. <laughs> My fading detective spirit is revitalized once again thanks to this burning mystery. Look at that smile. Isn't that the, isn't that the kind of smile you'd die for? Not bad. Things are getting interesting. <laughs> You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. And yet we don't know who the fake one is. I've used my power, so obviously I'm the real deal. Guys, is the music loud the enough? The gloomy girl it detective seems... also passes. The she music's so fake. The music sounds so catchy. You guys can hear it properly, right? So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your forte? How about it, you four-eyed fox detective? As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Dude. Without them, I can't use it. Apex is a Redditor. Look, he even has an up dude on his head. That's crazy. So, you're fine being considered a suspect then? <laughs> You are free to think what you wish. Unfortunately, I can't prove myself either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. Now we've got two suspects. How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off, but it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. For, he for real has fox ears? Yeah, but he also has normal ears, so... What is he really? That's true. There's no end to this! To hell with it! Everybody line up! I'll deck you one by one! Deck us one by one? Whoever passes out is safe, got it? The real deal! If you don't pass out in one hit, then you gotta be the imposter! Uh, dude. Dude. His name? Okay, so th I'm just like imagining someone like hearing about Apex Legends. And then they say it, and then they decide to say it so many times they start saying it in a goofy way. They're like, Apex Legends? Apex, 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 Apex Logan? Lo Lo Apex Logan, that's their name. Let's pick it. Calm down. Let's do things logically, like the detectives we are. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Hmm, the motive. They can affect you at you any time? Okay. One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? There are. You may speak. I'll allow it. For the hundredth time. Why would they need your permission? Just punch them, bro. Just do it for just do us a favor. The Amaterasu Corporation. They could be responsible for this. And your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows. But I could never catch them in the act. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I walked around town in my underwear, and at last, they revealed themselves. What? That sentence out of context, bro. <laughs> Hold up. Did you just say that you... What revealed itself? Hmm? Something the matter? <clears throat> Never mind. Continue. That's what we call Master Detective work? Yeah, true. I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However... I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Perhaps this is the same situation. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. The spy has only one goal. 
to disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. Man, you know what I'm gonna be really mad about? When this game inevitably get leaves the Switch and goes to PC like every other fucking game. And it's gonna run so much smoother than this fucking frame rate. And and then I would have already played the game, so I can't even enjoy it. Hence why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. Sus! Hmm. So you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible, though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Well, that's fair. Um, excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? Are you kidding me? We gotta explain that too? Yes, please. It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. Dude, there's a rain code on each one of these when I pick it. But I want to ask them, um... Who? What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. You see their products practically everywhere in daily life. They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets. Industrial goods, electronics, pharmaceuticals, everything. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, with their smoke, there's a whole building burning down. What? That's a detective joke. Funny, huh? Sure, I got it, thanks. Hmm. About Kanai Ward. We're heading to Kanai Ward. What was a wolf what does that have to do again? with Amaterasu Corporation? It's like on the back of her hand or something, showing her her old company or some shit. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, Fen yeah, Fenrir. Uh, we're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with the Amaterasu Corporation? It's fairly complicated, but Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu autonomous zone. Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. But as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp, the city itself transformed. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, hey, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. These damn corporations. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved Guys, cases. Is my, uh... Is my chat in an okay spot? What do you guys think it's uh, annoying there? Let me know. This I don't actually remember where I used to put it. going on for years, but the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. The chat's all over. As a result, Her face. master detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. Uh, I think there is something important that car shows up above me. And that's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. I see. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, you guys don't see when I rank up and have my uh, XP gains and stuff from being a good little sport who asks questions. Does that matter? I don't know. Speaking of, this train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Here, you guys can be down here temporarily, and we'll see if I need to adjust that. Yes, the Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival at Kanai Ward. Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, 
but they added ours as a special exception. It features enough passenger space you know what I want to do? Hold on. and a lavish dining car. This is really important. Warm welcome. There we go. A perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. They say it's for our safety, but I feel as though we're stuck in a big moving coffin. Are they all bolted in with like really big bolts? All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't <laughs> be opened. Like really I cartoonishly confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Like cartoonishly custom built screws that somehow cannot never be opened. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? This is like a moving hopes academy. But you can't access the fifth is that what it's card, called? the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Hope's Peak, there we go. <laughs> you can't access the fifth car one at the end, you can't, oh, okay. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Yeah, I specifically had to remember what you said. You, I remember like, you kept saying Hope Peak, oh, Hope Peak, Hope's Peak, gotcha. Right. Has anything you heard sound familiar? Wow, nice lip dub. It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't even try. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. Huh? Oh wait. Is this my my talent reveal finally? Which I assume is a talent. No idea. Thanks, killer. Um, did someone just speak? No. Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. <laughs> he really just said it. He, he just said it. Wait, I don't even remember how to... Oh, shit. How about you have something warm to drink and Wait, wasn't there a rest. button? Although, we only seem to have coffee here. I don't remember how to do the history button anymore. Oh yeah. Look, he just says it. No. 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 <laughs> no. Yes, yes, thanks guys. Alright. No. Yeah, that's what he said. Do you no. drink it black? Or do you need some milk? Yes! <laughs> no, Captain Falcon, you don't get coffee, okay? Front probably wants milk. Hey, how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. Never mind him. Here, have a drink to warm yourself up. <sighs> Thank you. Well, how do you drink your coffee? You didn't even answer the question. What was that voice earlier? Am I hearing things? I guess he drank it black. With his mouth probably. Now I'm hearing things. Way. What's happening to me? I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? You'll have your coffee extra crispy? Can be arranged, I guess. Hi, Hato Kevin. I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? Me! I can actually say it. Thank goodness. Looking at things objectively, the situation I'm in is pretty strange. Not to mention the mystery of my missing memories. Was it an accident, or did someone attack me? Regardless, I can't remember. So in the end, I'm the most suspicious one here. No matter how much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. That gave me 10 detective points. If I really am a master detective, I yeah, could I know have that. some useful powers. I know that killer, surprisingly enough. I wonder if I can somehow remember what those powers were. 
You don't chose. You don't like they chose DP. What do you mean? What's wrong with DP? I thought everyone likes DP. Remembering now won't do any good. There it is again. I keep hearing that voice. Jeez, what's happening to me? Hey, Runt. Yeah, I think it worked way better than HDMI. It has like better like transfer rates and shit. Uh huh. Get over here. The old man is gonna show off his powers. What, Zange? <laughs> a slice dog? Slice dog? The fuck? Oh my. Okay. I'm gonna remember which button this is eventually. Wait, whoa! Ooh, that was. Ooh, that was close. Holy shit. My god. Alright. There is a chance that it's all a trick made to look like a forte. Let's observe him carefully and see. Photography, huh? Can you use it to show what historical figures wore day to day? I've heard someone has used photography to show the other side of the moon. Can you do that, Zange? And then he goes like, all right, I'm going to use my photography. Wait, why do I only see Melamy? What the fuck? Oh shit, that's the wrong photography. Make it quick, old man. It should be no problem if you're a real master detective. Although I am reluctant to do so, I shall demonstrate my forte. You forced my hand. Doesn't this guy basically Otherwise, have hermit purple? Will continue to mount against me. Or like reverse hermit purple? Is he gonna break that phone? What's that? Your cell phone? Quiet. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my oh. God. Yes. Sorry, you're sure everything's in the laundry? Cool. Are you doing your towel? Uh, that's okay. Couldn't even frickin' <laughs> I had to do that. I was gonna miss everything. There it is again. You know that feeling? I can feel Zonga using his forte. You know that feeling of trying to like focus on some cool shit happening and you just feel someone standing there staring at you waiting for you to be done? That was basically what I was, what I was trying to go through there. <laughs> I couldn't even focus. As I've said before, my power is photography. I can project my memories onto electronic mediums to generate and record footage. Oh, so you project your memories on... okay. The recorded clip shows what occurred approximately five minutes ago. Oh, so you can literally have a recording of, it's faster of things you've showing. seen. Okay, so that's just me drinking coffee, gotcha. That's definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. I can only record about two to three seconds. Back in my prime, I was able to do ten. <laughs> yes, Jeffy, that's literally what was happening. Also, as memories fade, the recorded footage will also fade. The rule of thumb is that it lasts around 48 hours. You know I just realized? That's going to really bother me now that I've noticed. I don't have water next to me. My mouth is very dry. Let's try to fix that, huh? Man, I'm just a whole bundle of stalling, aren't I? Let's continue. But by copying it to another device before it fades, 
Footage can be used as evidence during investigations and in court. Pardon me, but are you sure this is thoughtography? It appears as though you captured footage from a hidden camera. Well, yeah, it's literally... I guess you can't really prove it, huh? All you do is doubt everybody! Be constructive for once! Oh, I'm glad I wasn't too serious of a spoiler. You got spoiled? Wait, did you also get spoiled? You think being suspicious you all hate my beer back screens now? Don't you believe that the truth lies beyond all suspicion? Yep. A detective's job is to suspect others. Why is my ghosty friend talking to me? I'm hearing things again. Dude, I love that I can recognize her voice, though. I'm starting to like her voice a lot. <laughs> my memories haven't returned, and Unjolly. the voices keep getting louder. It's giving me a headache. Taco, you might actually... Actually, I don't know if you recognize her voice. Mm. But it's, um... But it's, uh, Dory from Genshin. I don't know if you remember her voice, though. It's like... My own body doesn't belong to me. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Young man, are you alright? You don't seem well. I'm sorry. Do it. I feel a little dizzy. Do the big reveal that I already know about because I of the trailers. You should rest. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. The passenger rooms from car three and beyond are all full, so you should use car one at the front. I believe there's an infirmary in there. It should be easy to monitor from where we're at in the second car. Monitor? You've got some nerve. Nerve? You've Will you got be some all right monitor. on your own? Or do you need some company? Sheesh, get a grip, will ya? Sorry. Huh? Did you say something? She's also the person who summons a giant cock in uh, Star Rail. You heard me. No, it's... Nothing. I'm all right. I can get there by myself. She's all like, rise, Phoenix! And then a big cock like slams on the ground and like smashes the enemy. <laughs> you sensed cock and arrived? Hi, Twig. <laughs> <laughs> Good timing. Oh wait, I should not be talking to them, right? No, come on, Ron. You look, you look like you're about to collapse. Go rest up in the infirmary. S sorry. I'll do that. Voice acting budget gone. Hey. You don't look so good. It doesn't seem like an act. Go get some rest. Yes. Right. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh. Oh. Will you be all right on your own? Are you sure you don't need someone to take you? Uh. Oh, I'm fine. Let me just talk to everybody in the room before as I wobble out. This is very important that I do this so I don't miss dialogue. Oh, um, you look pale. Do you need any assistance? S no, no, sorry. I'm fine. I can go on my own. I just want to talk to you. No. If you say so. Oh man, I feel so bad. Oh, hey, what do you think about the situation? Oh. I'll allow it. <laughs> what do you, th what do you think about the situation? I'll allow it. <laughs> the infirmary is in car one. Go and rest yes. there. Yes. Uh, okay. Where's car one? Oh, it's, I think it's this way. No, oh shit, wrong way. Sorry, my, 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 excuse me. Excuse me, guys. Sorry, sorry, excuse me. Oh, God, I'm gonna. Oh, oh I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Oh, oh, oh I'm dizzy. Oh, 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 God, come on, I can do it. It's a little bit longer. It's, oh, oh. Don't worry, guys, I'm good. I'm good. Alright, alright, let's get this. Okay, all right, it's almost there. All right, come on. It's a little bit, just a little bit more. Just, come, just turn around. Yeah, just open the door. And it's locked. Wait, it's locked. You gotta find the key first. The key. Where's the key? Is it somewhere in the first car? I see. I see. The entirety of the mine. If an entire area of a minimap shining means a destination or investigative object is nearby. Okay, I better find the key. Um, is that it? No. 
Hello, is there a key in the restroom? It opened. Yeah, you didn't. Why did you say that? Oh, I guess you want to go in the restroom. Am I about to throw up a big one? Hey, the mirror actually works. I'm liking my YouTube short. Body has been discovered. And he fainted. From the scary ghost. Hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's time to get up. How long are you gonna sleep? Get up, 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 or I'll boom kill you. Boom kill? <laughs> what the fuck is that face? <laughs> can finally see cute little me. Terror, terror. <laughs> Look at them now. It's all taking root. Very pog. <laughs> terror, terror is the main character in this game. See, aren't you glad you didn't buy it? Don't worry, I, you should just be like me and just, pre just preemptively not like any mascot. What? Huh? What is this thing? How can you call me a thing when I'm so adorable? Well, aren't you rude? It's talking! Not also, I'm Pika hearing things. Not Pikachu. I'm seeing Glitch. things too? Glitch really likes this ghost. I've completely lost it! You're my master, aren't you? Master? That's right. We exchanged an intimate secret pact just between us. Huh? What pact? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> what? You've forgotten all about how we were so passionately bound together? <gasps> how cold of you! After I offered myself to you and you alone. This doesn't seem like appropriate workplace behavior. <laughs> Alright, guys. You're so irresponsible. True. Take ownership of your actions. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course you forgot. That's part of the contract. You don't get a death god for free, you know. If you want to eat, you gotta bring something to the table. Wait. What did you just say? A death god? Call me Shinigami. Oh shit, it's a Shinigami! Shinigami! Hello. Death god sounds so ominous and creepy. Is her name Ryu? I my style, you know. No, her name is actually it Kurosaki Ichigo. I'm too cute for that. <laughs> I was born too pure and innocent. That's why I prefer to go by Shinigami. Anyway, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> what did you say, like Kempachi? What do you mean? That's just how you pronounce it. Kurosaki <laughs> Ichigo. <laughs> you keep calling me master. Wait, are you haunting me? Please, call me Shinigami. Shinigami? Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Of course, I'm 100% haunting you. I'm haunting you like your life depends on it. That was your wish after all. That's why we made that contract. Yeah, when when, when Taco did the <laughs> LOL, I was like, wait, that sounded really familiar. <laughs> I mean, similar. That's what I wanted? And for our sweet, sweet contract, you offered something in return. Quick, type, uh, big boobs. Offered? <gasps> you mean... You finally got big it? Big boobs feel you good, you know. Memories. <laughs> you tossed away your entire past and smashed our fates together. That's why I have amnesia? 
the euphoria from completing our contract made you pass out in that room. I think Kamakura or whatever. Is that one? Or is it? Oh, you don't have any points. Alright, cool. <laughs> Saved. <laughs> Even though you woke up, it took some time for me to take root in you. But so you're the reason I got knocked now, out? Which makes me happy. Not. Which is it? Why would I make a contract with you? Why did I offer my memories? Sorry, but I can't share the contract's details with you. Those are the rules. Why not? Tell me! No can do. That's the contract. By the way, Master, something's been bothering me. What is it? Two hours have gone by since you passed out. Huh? Two hours? Yep. And here I was, waiting for you to wake up. Admirable, right? But during that time, no one came to check on you. They're all so cruel, you know? Maybe they forgot about you. Speaking of, why am I here? Is this the restroom in the first car? Didn't I get here? Didn't That's I walk right. here? I felt sick oh. at the dining he, car, he forgot, so he forgot. I was looking for the key to the infirmary. <laughs> I still haven't found it. You should watch your own health, Master. We share mind and body. When you feel sick, I get irritated too. Your haunting presence is probably why I felt sick in the first place. Hey, don't blame me. Anyway, you better hurry and take a look around. Is she is she looking at us and drinking coffee right now? That's right. Where are the others? Okay, cool. Wait, is she just gonna be floating around now all over the place? Dude, I feel like whenever I see her. I feel like I gotta bring in Luigi to get that fucking vacuum cleaner, bro. You guys know what I'm saying? <laughs> this place. This landscape passed away outside. I think it looks too well. familiar. You have no memories, Master. Of course, none of it's familiar. I guess you're right. Well, I guess I can start talking to myself with class. Hmm. Hmm? Why are you staring at the mirror? Are you the type of guy who admires himself until he dies of heartbreak? <sighs> I can see it in the mirror, I'll, and I can hear its voice. It's not a hallucination. <laughs> you still don't believe me? Still didn't believe me. Uh, it's a door to a private room. It's not locked, and there doesn't seem to be anyone inside. You, you sure you don't want to open up a tech? Check. Maybe a homicidal maniac's hiding in there. <sighs> There's no way. Well, let's check. Uh, Just kidding. You good? <sighs> okay. Very good. Very good dialogue for plus ten d detective. S smoke. What's going on? Uh oh. It's me! How oh, mysterious! That guy started literally what, smoking. You watching over me the whole time? I can't be separated from you. That should be obvious since I'm haunting you. All I saw was your dumb sleeping face in the restroom. I have no clue what happened outside. This must be so the work of an enemy stand. Here. <clears throat> hey, look, look! There's smoke coming in through the cracks of the door! Right! Is there a fire? Well, someone fire? smashed this fucking so it's fire burning. extinguisher out for some reason. Now I'm getting excited! Excited? We have to do something! This is very urgent! Oh, it's literally not- it's literally just turning me around and nothing- it doesn't even have a dialogue or anything. It's like, what are you doing? Where are you going? Why are you going that way? Bro, why you got that way? <laughs> A body has been discovered. <laughs> wow, good What's gameplay. Thanks for letting on? me play that, guys. Thanks for letting me play that whole bit of gameplay. Silch! Ah, he's fine. Silch, please wake up, Silch. Uh, he's, he's yeah, he's fine. No, right, Zilch is fine. There's too much smoke. I, I gotta help. Master, look. <gasps> <sighs> All right. All right. Yeah, you think so? You think that happened? Oh, no way. Whoa. All right. I hope no one liked this character.
<laughs> we just match looking different, yo. Nah, you know what? I'm gonna say that's a fake body. Why? A body has been discovered. <laughs> Thanks. Why did this happen? All these dang and rumpa sound commands are gonna come There's back. There's no out. time to rest. If you're a detective, you know what to do. It is the dude with the ears, or like that's what it showed earlier. Huh? Search the body. You need to confirm if someone is really dead by checking the body. Nah, he's trying fine. He can just walk it off. Me? Maybe I should ask for help. Uh, this guy could definitely walk it off. Why would a detective run from a corpse? I don't know that I'm a detective. Well, you sure are one. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked for help from yours truly. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I'll explain it another time. But since you've forgotten, I'll be your mentor <clears throat> and train you to be a proper detective. So get to it. I'm really doing this. Of course. The mystery is practically solved when a detective is first on the scene. I mean, it has already been an hour and a half. Yeah, you know, that's true. Someone's dead now. That's pretty good. Come on, stop being a bitch. Ooh, uh, real investigation time now. Time to investigate! Whatever that means. AED. Maybe. Zilch might still be alive. Maybe I could save him with this AED. Huh? It's a corpse no matter how you look at it. Face reality and get investigating. Hey, maybe if I use this, he'll he'll wake up. Maybe. Maybe I could use this to save Zilch. Hey! It's impossible he's burnt to a crisp. Focus on the corpse. Nah, nah. Guys, trust me. I can fix him. I can fix him, guys. It's completely charred. No movement. No breathing either. I can't feel a pulse. The smell of burnt flesh is too much for me. A knife is still lodged in the chest. Dude, maybe if he asked a mouse for help, he would be alive still. This is the only knife wound. I don't see any other injuries. Well, how's our corpse doing? Dead, without a doubt. <laughs> Thought so. Kind of charred, after all. <laughs> you really didn't even need to check. Dude, this guy's the best detective in the world. <sighs> don't be so glum. You had to check the corpse in any case. Yo, can you fix the, <laughs> the no way? Or no way emote to be what instead, like back to what? I feel like it's okay to just call that one what. <laughs> What's the first one? You know what? Do we really need that one? <laughs> It's, it's fine, doesn't that. matter. I mean, I guess you're right. If I'd noticed sooner. You think you could have saved a life? Forget about it. If you're so worried, try CPR. Though, you'll be tasting soot doing that to such a charred corpse. What's dead is dead. Never let that get you down. Right. I have to tell the others about this. Is everyone else also dead? That'd be a great start to the game. Just literally just kill the whole cast and be like, yeah, that's it. Just kidding, there's I no cast at all. This is you smell a cake? The fire finger I use is on the floor. Looks like it's mostly empty master. now. You open the lock and put out the fire. That was some quick thinking, Master. And now you can check out the corpse up at per close and personal. I already did that. Slow piece of shit. Oh, it's actually letting me go over here now. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Is that really what I should be worried about right now? Go look for the other master detectives. Shinigami's right. I better hurry. But what about this? Huh? That was a loud huh. Hey! You know that? Why'd you come here? Get moving. Go look for the other master detectives. Fine. You know what I really do enjoy, though? This reflective surface thing they got going on? It makes it look really nice. Thanks. Huh? 
Oh my god, Ever wait, I was just kidding. Wait, 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 guys, I was just- guys, wait, hold on, wait. Uh, <laughs> any Melomy fans in chat? <laughs> no way. Is this a dream? This has to be a dream, right? Maybe it's a nightmare. <laughs> okay, Graham, you still like her? Please, I want to wake up. I can't. You think she's hot? Anymore. Yeah, she. She. <laughs> you were right. She was probably very hot. You're so pitiful. You know that. Are you sure you're the guy who sold your soul to me? What are you oh, anyway? Friend or foe? It's you're kinda... a friend, of course. Hot. After all, you're my master. Isn't that nice? I'm your friend, and I'll be haunting you till death do us part. Oh, so hot. Should I lower the volume of these damn sound commands? I feel like they're loud. Or maybe they're not. Maybe they're just for me. You guys still hear the game, right? I did realize I did lower it for stream. Contract with the Death God. Wait, do they even really uh, exist? Maybe this floating thing is okay, just okay. a figment of my imagination. I wait. I wait for ad. <laughs> I forgot I did that. Bro, I forgot I did that. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I actually forgot I did that. I probably did that. I probably made that command like months ago, and no one ever tried it since. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm waiting for the ads. That's why I'm stalling right now. Okay, it looks like they're done, though. Wait, do they even really exist? Maybe this floating thing is just a figment of my imagination. Stop your trap! You memoryless, courageless, brainless detective! This is a nightmare to you? Then you gotta use all you got! But... What can I even do? Say... That is obviously That's a lie. why I'll be your teacher and mentor. Uh, I'll make you a proper detective yet. There's no way there's still ads playing. Just listen to me and everything will be a-okay. First, check the scene yeah. of the time like you did earlier. This is a really bad ad. Now stand up. Come on. Guys, you think she's alive? It's Melamy, all right. She's completely burnt to a crisp, but I recognize what parts are left of her face. Can't believe they killed two characters that quickly. I'll do. I'll do something else. This has a diehard fan of Celestia Ludenberg and wanted to reenact her punishment. Wait, what, what do you mean? What do you mean you're right? <laughs> I thought you liked the lipstick. She's gonna be burnt. I mean, I, I think I just personally feel like it's really hard to make like really defined lips look good with anime style, but you can make subtle, like you can make lips like super subtle. I noticed, and it looks still look kind of good, but it usually is like the bottom lip only, and maybe like making it a little glossy. There's no pulse or breath. No doubt she's been dead for a while. There's a bottle of liquor nearby. She's maybe making her. She's working on her new model. Fire. You found two corpses back to back. You sure are really a man. Dude, I hope I. <laughs> All right, who's next? Guys, who's dead next? There's 
So, what's the cause of death? Huh? Oh, um, there aren't any obvious external wounds. So she burned to death. The other one also got incinerated. You hope you're dead next? Such a cruel way to die. What's going on here? Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. This is... They're empty. Uh, you know what I really hate? How they, how they typed a lowercase q in this font. I don't know why. It just triggers me. I hate it. It looks so dumb. God. I keep reading that as Leoyu first before I hear, oh, it's a Q. There are empty liquor bottles around. All of them apparently had high alcohol content. Could Melamy have uh, been set on fire with this? <laughs> alcohol is the best way to cook the stench out of meat, after all. <laughs> what a rich fragrance. How about a taste, master? What, the corpse? Oh, oh, you're, oh you're talking about the liquor bottle. Okay, got it. Wait. Wait, she's actually just sipping. Yo, what the fuck? She has so many animations for no reason. That's where all the budget went. This is. There are a bunch of liquor bottles on the shelf. Could they have been used to set Melamy on fire? Yeah, that's right. She was literally flambéed with some pricey looking liquor. Uh huh. Not a w bad way to go. Let's go to the next one. Is that it? Master, you gotta hurry. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Wait, what if there's something... <laughs> Shit. Whatever. It's a map of the train. Yes. So where am I right now? I just passed the dining car. So I went to car one. That's where I found uh, the first body in the infirmary. Car two has been Melamy. Uh, so who's going to be dead in the backup control room? Let's find out. Huh? Did okay. it just shake? Uh, we're just not even going to go forward. How about that? Oh my god. Is this a horror game? What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. This is going to be a, remi a reminder for when we all have a trial and there's only just me at the trial. Because everyone's dead. Oh, it got dark outside. Looks like we're in a tunnel. Anyway, shouldn't you be hurrying? You should probably tell the other master detectives, yeah? <laughs> it's the hash-slinging slasher! Right, that's right. Dude, stop telling me to talk to the other... I know they're dead, okay? Just... A, a, small, a treasured small panda applique is adorned to the shoulder of Fuji's coat. Thanks. How long until I find out everyone's supposed to be alive at every hey, 60 IRL seconds to kill someone? You know what? I wouldn't be surprised. I remember I instantly quit Deus Ex Human Revolution because the beginning of that game, you're supposed to help with the hostage situation. And I spent like an hour walking around talking to NPCs in the, in the, in the town, or sorry, in the starting area. And then the hostage actually died because it was actually time. And I was like, oh, and I just quit. I just uninstalled the game. <laughs> I was like, all right, <laughs> good game, guys. What the fuck is that even? Is that the reverse? Unaware. Okay. <laughs> True. I was like, if you're not gonna, I don't want to have that kind of pressure of real life timers. <laughs> hey, is anyone there? We need to help in the first two cars. Zangi! Fuji! Apex! Zangief! Anybody! <sighs> uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. It's like an older game. Hmm. No response. I smell a tragedy. This is like the very picture of hell. Woohoo! One mystery after another! I can't hold back from all this excitement. We have to find the others right away! Yeah, you might like it. It's like, it's a, it's a, it looks like a nice game, but it's not for me. I don't like that kind of pressure. I'm getting excited here! <laughs> Get excited. Alright. So let's look at the first one. What we got in here? Oh god. And there goes her as well. Oh no way. She at least she at least she burned to death comfortably in bed. Master, if 
If you don't want to end up like this, then you better be more prudent. Huh? The train hasn't gotten to the destination yet, and you can't get off halfway. Wait, I didn't get an, uh, a full answer to this question. Has anyone here actually been playing this game already? Is still in the train, right? The killer? But who would do such a thing? Maybe it was me. You'll find out if you investigate. You better nail it, master. Maybe I... Maybe I, like, Regardless, during those two hours, I burned door, everyone alive God, while unconscious. Sure get cornered. And my genocide jack side came out. Y yeah. Cat ear headphones? This is... A set of cat ear headphones which you must have had a lot of headphones. Hmm. She never took off her headphones, right? even in front of people, right? How rude. She never even wore them the whole time we were talking. What do you mean? She, it was around her neck. Does that count as being on? Is this Poochie's bed? Maybe there's a weapon for self-defense inside. It'd be good for you to check it out. I'm sorry, Poochie. I'm taking a look inside. There's a change of clothes and travel supplies. No weapons or other self-defense items. It's a wash, then. It was sitting there like a treasure chest, so... I was hoping there'd be a rare metal inside. Why is this happening? Even Poochie. Yumi, come. You, Yumi, Yuma, don't worry. We just met them, so it doesn't matter if they die. Master, right, let's chat? move on if you're done here. There's no time to waste. Right, guys? Right. Where's Zonge? And Af I'm sure Aphex has become a legend already. This is. This big teddy bear must have been, might have been Poochie's personal belonging. <laughs> Better be careful, Master. It might start, st suddenly start going poo hoo. <laughs> might suddenly start going poo hoo hoo. <sighs> it's just a teddy bear. Is that something that strange could happen? Good one. Go on, game. Go on. Yo, go on. I understood that reference. It's Poochie's corpse. I can barely make out what's left of her face. She doesn't appear to have any external wounds. Oh, There's yeah. a blanket over her torso. Looks like she was burned when the blanket was set on fire. Yep, it's a corpse. Thanks. Very cool. Hey, how come this has a reflection? But the actual mirror doesn't. That's whack. It's also kind of a scuff reflection. I was gonna say, um... Oh my god, what was I gonna say? Oh, it was really important that I say it and I forgot what it was. Oh, now I remember. Uh, Levity was like, maybe these guys had a really, they're really expensive so they couldn't keep these voice actors for long. But I had the opposite thought. I, I personally, I mean, obviously I'm not really like a connoisseur. But all of these guys have voices that I barely know. So maybe they were actually the throwaway voices and there's a real cast coming up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the main character and the ghost are fairly high profile now. This isn't a passenger room. The sign says backup control room. Wow, it looks like a secret base. Don't you want to destroy these whenever you see them? Dude, I bet you, uh, I bet you the 16th student lived in here. No, there's no one here. Oh. So I should go look for help somewhere Yeah, I, I did skip a room. Number two is, uh, is bad luck, so. How you check out that machine over there. Maybe it'll help you figure out what happened. It's okay, I won't break it. Taco, think about the mobile users. How could you just type that in chat? Fine. You just gotta hit this thing and it'll be good <laughs> as new. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to, you're not, you're not supposed to say F you to me. You gotta say it. You gotta say F you mobile users and then spam it like three more times. <laughs> W Walt. What's up, Bingo? Squad up there. Come on. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Sorry, sorry. Slacking out on the case. Heaven might forgive you, but I'm not so merciful. Now get back in that room and get investigated. Shut. Intercom. Oh, there's an Hello? intercom. Hello, is anyone home? In an emergency, press this button and speak into the receiver. Yeah. And I'll no report this to, this to control. control headquarters and call for help. Cock. <sighs> oh yeah, we're in a tunnel. Psych. It won't connect. Why? 
If it doesn't connect during an emergency, it's totally useless. Wait. Our version of that emote actually just has the full amount of H's taco. <laughs> I didn't realize until I looked at my other chat that actually showed the text. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I was like, oh, I see. That's why you didn't continue with the 16th student. If this system was completely automated, a report should have been sent to control headquarters about the fire. Maybe everyone in control headquarters is already dead. And you're the last living human in the world! Not again. What a horrible thing to say. God, not again. This happens all the time, man. Why did I have to pass it for two hours? Not everybody's fucking dead. No, you know what? Those two hours are gonna end up being like 30 years or some shit. And we are in like a time loop train. Right, guys? That's, that's, that was, was gonna basically be it? This is the train map. The shining part must be the train's current location. After we exit this long tunnel we just entered, we'll reach Kunai Ward in no time. It's been a long trip, but I'm sure it's been a shorter one for a certain napping detective. Hey Wazaka, you're gonna come back after you can watch my other VODs first? But the other VOD was literally just 15 minutes of me starting the game and then going to sleep. I'm not- you, I can just summarize for you what's happened. I'm near the beginning, Wazaka. You decide though. This is like literally the first actual VOD. Wazaka, you want me to let you know? I can do it real quick. I do want. If you're interested in actually following along, I'll do it for you, Wazaka. You might, you're my womb brother, after all. No, I'm not going to explain to chat. Anyways, so here's what we're going to do. I mean, here's, here's what happened so far. Uh, I woke up I woke up in a closet that was actually... And I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I couldn't remember anything. <laughs> so then, I, and then I, I... The only thing I knew was that I needed to go into a train and that I'm apparently a master detective, whatever that is. So then I go into a, I go into the train and I'm like, and then I meet five other master detectives and I'm like, yo, I'm a master detective too, bro. And they're like, ah, shit, really? Are you sure about that little child boy, man? And I was like, I think so. I don't know. I don't really remember. And then they're like, yeah, well, there's something kind of weird. There's six of us, but they said they're only assigning five master detectives to this, to this train. Okay. So someone among us is sus. There's an imposter. And I was like, what? No way! And then I was like, spent some time learning that the fi uh, each master detective has a super special talent, so it's like Dang and Rumpa, where they have an ultimate talent. And then, yeah, and then uh, I learned about all their talents, and they're like, "What the fuck is my talent?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm the main character. I don't know what the fuck my talent is, bro. I just woke up in a closet." And then, and then suddenly I heard a ghost talking in my ear, and I was like, "Oh, uh, it's," <laughs> and then I, and then they told me to go lie down because I was going schizo. And then, um, so then I went to try to go lie down, and then I fell on the washroom floor because this ghost, this purple fucking yokai watch ass ghost, Luigi's Mansion ass ghost showed up named Shinigami. And I was like, dude, you finally can see me. Oh my god. Don't you remember that we were in that closet and you like sold your soul to me and now I'm like your, your servant forever master? And I was like, no. I don't remember that. And then she was like, yeah, also when you fainted, you actually fainted for two hours. Anyways, you should probably go check on your friends, bro. And then I was like, okay, cool. So then I went to go check my friends. Uh, so I checked one friend. I was like, yo, you good? Actually, he was a burnt corpse. So I was like, oh, okay. I guess he's not good. So then I went and checked my other friend. And she was, and I was like, yo, you good? And she was like, no, no, no I'm a burnt corpse. And I was like, oh, shoot, my bad. So she was actually a burnt corpse as well. So then I went to go check on my other friend who was sleeping. Guess what? Burnt corpse. Anyways, there's two more friends to check out. So that's what we're doing right now. Are you, you, got, you got all that? How's that summary, guys? Was that a good machine? summary? There appears to be instructions. Backup control system? The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. <laughs> Speaking of brick horses, you look like you look like Freddy Krueger, yo. Maybe. I could be the I could be the guy who killed everyone, who knows? When the main control system fails, it'll switch the backup system after one second. So the control system manages the electricity. This one is the backup, not the main one. Oh wait, this? Are you talking? You saying in real life? Maybe. <laughs> hey, what about the file over here? What does it say? It looks like an I didn't buy this shirt. Autonomous my mom bought me this shirt, and I wear it because my mom bought it for me. That's all the reason I need. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. 
She specifically tried really hard to... Because she noticed I only really like wearing V-necks. <laughs> so she actually got me the, the best V-neck she could find. But all the train cars in the short... Ah, uh, okay. Because of that, it can easily climb steep slopes. Hmm. I guess everything here relies on that control system. Yep. Dude. Once again, you know about this game, right? It has the same lead... Like, what is it called? Fucking director? Producer? Same artist and same music writer as Detect uh, as Dan Gan. So, if you destroy the main and backup control systems, you can stop the train. Right now, the control system is functioning, so the train is still moving with no issues. The monitor displays an operation log, but there's no record that the train has stopped at all. Yeah. Master, while well, you were sleeping like a log, I never sense the train stopping either. The doors won't open unless it stops and the windows are all locked. No one can get on or off while it's en route. <laughs> yeah, it's just me and Luffy Space Princess, you're right. True, dude, true. Huh? What's wrong, Master? I noticed the backup control system is operating. Well, it's better that it's running. All the electricity is managed by the control system, after all. Anyway, Master, I'm bored of this place. Let's move on already. Move on because you're bored? Also, um, as just a little fun fact, Wazika, main character here is voiced by Kibo, the Mr. Robot Man. Mm. If it sounded familiar at all. This looks like some kind of control device. It might be dangerous, so I shouldn't touch right. it. Yeah, you won't want to press the wrong button and cause a train to derail. Hey, I'm rank four now, guys. I have plus four skill points. What is that for? I don't know. Anyways, here, you want to see one of my friends? Fucking dead. Can I zoom in? Damn. Yeah, yeah. Also, look at this, Wazika. This is... This big teddy bear might, uh, might have been Poochie's personal belonging. You better be careful, Master. It might suddenly start going poo hoo hoo. <sighs> it's just a teddy bear. As if something that strange could happen. Oh, room three o two. Oh, you you just noticed about two at that? <laughs> it's a glasses case with an animal print on it. There's nothing inside. Mm. Someone must be wearing the glasses. Uh, There's nothing else look to look at here. What about the brush? This is it's a brush for clothing. There's some fur stuck on the bristles. Say. I wonder what it belongs to. Maybe someone's really into fashion? Uh, There's not much more information we can get from a brush. Yeah, but I'm farming detective points right now, though. What about that nail polish? Why can't I look at that? Okay, whatever. Wait. No one was wearing this outfit. Oh, no, wait. No, that was this was the old guy, wasn't it? Wait, the old guy was... Brushing his fur? Oh, his fur. Whose bag is this? Kibo! Wally! Oh, it's open. Is it okay for me to look inside? It's always okay. You're a detective. Why even ask? Detectives search people's bags and cupboards all the time. Smashing pots to find what they want is part of the job. Now I'm pretty sure that's Link's job. That's too much. Notice. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Zilch Alexander, you are hereby dispatched to the special Zilch. autonomous region oh. of Kanaiwar. Why does Zilch have a dead ferret? 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 Ferret. Dispatch duration indefinite. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanaiwar. Rendezvous with the master detectives on site. Upon arrival, proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. There, you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. I keep thinking that too, Taco, but I didn't, I didn't want to say, like, detective. Wow, that was like a lot Zilch. of memes in one. So, this must be his bag. Wait, this letter was for nothing? Like, Zilch? 
Zero? Noth nada? Bro, what the, the fuck? things inside are work documents. Nothing else He about. really is Zilch now, except for ashes. Ah, that's no fun. In the end, there weren't any survivors in this train car. You bet. Yeah, you're right. Let's go to the next one. God, I'm so... T I'm, I, it's been so long since I played Danganronpa. Having Danganronpa's stupid ass repetitive dialogue again. I don't know if I have the patience, guys, for them to keep repeating what I already know what I'm doing. <laughs> Holy moly. Um, is anyone there? <sighs> Anybody home? Anybody home? Anybody home? Watch out! For what? The fuck are you talking about? Watch out for what? That makes me scared. Is there like an enemy nearby? Is there f is there combat? There's nothing here. There, what Zilch is here? Where? Luggage or anything else? Dude, are those are those dirty mags? If each person gets their own room, then someone got nothing. Thanks, Taco. Right? I'm glad you let me know. Because look, there's also tissues here. What else could it be, dude? <laughs> dirty joke! Is that a this dirty is... joke? There's a lot of tissues on the tail. Maybe he can't take the turn down free samples when people hand them out? <laughs> oh yeah, so many reasons for why someone would keep tissues next to the bed. <laughs> what are you implying, Shinigami? <laughs> See, I, my humor is one-to-one. -one. My logic is one-to-one -one with Dang and Ropa, okay? There are magazines scattered on the desk. There's a pro wrestling magazine. Why, what are the hot angles these days? I don't think it has anything to do with the case. Let's look somewhere else. Oh, wait. Whoa, wait, it's that kind of dirty mag? I don't think that's pro wrestling, boy. This doesn't seem to uh, appropriate workplace behavior. You, know, you low-key judge when you see tissues near a computer or bed? <laughs> Ooh, good thing. Oh, man, good thing I don't got that problem going on. You know what I'm saying? Did you check your pockets? I mean, the pockets? <laughs> There's nothing inside. Hmm, I don't know who it belongs to. It doesn't make a, a very good clue. Mel Z! Mel Z! Hi. Hi, Mel Z. How are you doing? Mel's E. You're finally on vacation? Yo! Look, just in time for a corpse! Okay. Why? Uh, how did this happen? Guys. You know? What? We found. Do you think this is funny because you're a let, death god? Let me, let me let them talk. Let me let them talk. No. I think it's awesome! My heart's full! Each death takes the mystery even deeper. Mm. So mysterious. So the only person we haven't seen yet is really angry man with the mask. Angry redditor guy. Melzi, if you're wondering, made by the same dudes as Danganronpa for the most part, as far as I know. Anyways, I was gonna say, since we found uh, four out of five people burnt now, I guess you can say we're hot on the trail. This looks like Sange's bag. There's nothing inside that matters. <laughs> not as hot as they were? Yeah, I guess not. This is... <laughs> you can tell from the eyes and proportions? Yeah. <laughs> These might belong to Zange. They look well They look well used, so they could be really old. I'm arguably the worst detective here. Look, I even said I was the, I was the imposter, alright? I'm pretty sure I am. This is just, this is just fucking V3 all over again. Let me look inside the notebook. There might be something about the case. I want that pen, bro. That pen looks nice. It seems to be uh, records of past cases he handled. Mm. But there aren't, isn't any information about this case. Hey, by the way, chat. If you can... Yep, you may as well have... You may have something to show as well. But it may be too long to show on stream. Oh, okay. Uh... 
Wait, in regards to what? Also, I was gonna say, if you guys, if possible, guys, take any interesting clips that might happen in this game because I'm actually planning to put YouTube shorts for this game because actually I was surprised, but that mirror one did pretty good. So I guess I can just branch off from Zelda a little bit. Guess not. It's a thing for me. Oh, okay. Um, he's burnt to a crisp. I can just barely discern his face, though. Is that because his mask is still on? I can't find any particular external wounds, just like the other corpses. He was also incinerated in a burning blanket, like Zilich in the first car and Poochie in the third one. All three of them were sleeping in bed and murdered by I don't by think emulation. so. Like, how could they die calmly in bed on fire? I feel like they were already dead before they were burnt. Oh, what's this? Is 12 minutes too long? Um, I would say if I'm going to watch something, I'd rather do it at the beginning of a stream. Probably, instead of interrupting the, the flow. But if this, is this something you want me to show on stream? Maybe his photography left something behind. No good. Just a video of me drinking coffee. It can't help me solve this mess. <sighs> That's four of them. Who could have done this? <gasps> Wait! There are just six people on the train, including myself. And I found four bodies. Yeah, don't worry, Mousy. I'll. I, I don't know if you'll be able to watch. Are you? You said you're on vacation. I don't know if that means you can watch tomorrow or not. But if you can, I'll watch at the beginning of the stream, or I'll watch at the beginning of a stream. The next stream you can make it on. How's that sound? Zilch, Melanie, Pucci, and Zange. The only one left is Apex. <coughs> Took you long enough. I knew from the very start. You still need work, Master. I'll be sure to train you well. So Apex is the culprit? He murdered the others in such a deranged way? Look, guys, I've, I've played enough Danganronpa to know that we're just going to find his burnt corpse, too, and nothing's going to make fucking sense. He's got a short fuse, so maybe it was a crime of passion. He probably <coughs> lied about being a master detective. No, he's a master detective for sure. I sensed him use his powers. You sensed it? Hmm. But if he betrayed the WDO and became an Amaterasu Corporation spy, it's reasonable to conclude he killed the other master detectives All right, that was good, to sabotage our efforts. Anyway, time to boom kill that psycho! You were totally about to say that, right, Master? Not at all. If he finds me, I'm done for. I'm actually surprised you haven't died yet. You look like you'd be the first to die. True. I won't deny it. <clears throat> I probably got overlooked. I was supposed to be in the infirmary in the first car, but I passed out in the restroom, right? Maybe that's why the killer didn't find me. <sighs> oh, I just remembered. Huh? What's up? Master, I told you that while you were passed out, no one came to the restroom. But one time, <coughs> the door did open, I think. By the time I noticed, the door closed again. I don't know who was there. Now that I think about it, could it have been that guy with the short fuse? So he let me go? Why? Hmm. Maybe he thought you weren't even worth killing. You're an incompetent guy with amnesia. That wasn't a diss, just a fact. I know. Now that we know who the culprit is, we have to find him before the train arrives. Find him and do what? Catch him, of course. And it's all up to you, Master. That's impossible! It's fine. There's no time to waste. Nothing's fine about it. And the music just cuts out. <laughs> Very cool. <coughs> Detective Pikachu looking weird. Yeah. You guys think he's in this room? What the you hell? Check, check. Who the hell is wearing any of this? This is... Oh, never mind. This must belong to Melami. We shall never use it again. Because she's a corpse. Well? You shouldn't apply makeup to fresh burns after all. <laughs> Thanks, Shinigami. This is... 
They're women's clothes on the bed. I wonder if they belong to Melanie. Yeah, that's Those some flashy right. threads. She'd definitely get some looks in the city. But now she's all burnt up. Guess she won't be wearing it anymore. <laughs> Melanie, why did she have to die? It's a woman's travel bag. There's a name here. They're so random about which ones get voice acting. Melanie Goldmine. Looks like makeup and travel supplies. Nothing noteworthy. Hey, did you check to see if someone's hiding nearby? Yeah, no one's here. You sure? And what if he's hiding in the back? I don't know. I've never, I've never played that. Even the first Detective Pikachu was that a good game? Even a child couldn't hide in there. You don't know that. You're up against a master detective. Remember? What if there's a master detective who has the appearance of a child? But the mind of an adult. That's me. Of course there isn't. You sure about that? I think there's totally a detective like that out there. See other people aren't like wearing their clothes. Yeah. I wonder if that's gonna be relevant. What's happening? I don't know. It sounded like the whole outfit was required, but I don't know, to be honest. Flashbang. Yeah, this is a Switch exclusive right now. It got brighter. Guess we made it through the tunnel. Which means we're almost there. At this rate, you'll let the murderer escape. But I'm pretty sure it's going to expand Lord eventually, Shiki? just like, just like Dengar Pass. Time? Master, you gotta hurry! The next train car is the fifth one. This train has five cars in total, so this is the last one. Oh, but... But you can't access the fifth car. The one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. The door was supposed to be broken, right? Try it! Why does she just yell at me like that randomly? What? What's... Why does she do that? Hey, it opened. Was it repaired? It's been wrecked. What happened here? Brutal, savage, wrecked. Master, look over there! Let me guess. Burnt corpse? Oh my god. A dead body. A body has been discovered. No way. There can't be a fifth corpse. Because that would mean <laughs> everyone except me is dead. I am the murderer. So mysteriful. Even I'm getting confused now. I like the word mysteriful. Anyway, oh no. To investigate. I can't like a mascot. <sighs> All my friends are bred. Are you pretending you don't see the what corpse? corpse? Now you're making me huh? tell you as a person, let alone what a corpse? detective. What corpse? I don't see it. <laughs> this isn't a fake. It's a real corpse, isn't it? It is, without a single doubt, the bona fide remains of a human. I'm positive about that. I specialize in corpses, after all. I'll check for signs of life, just in case. No, he's completely dead. Huh? His necklace looks familiar. Wait, it's the same one Aphex was wearing. Looking at the body type of the corpse, it matches the guy with the short fuse. I think that's the fuse caught up, bro. Like, jeez. His face is burns beyond recognition, but... Could this really be Aphex? Oh, I put a I put a global user cooldown. <laughs> you might find it unbelievable, but it seems like it. Because it was getting too so spammy. His cause of death was also fire. Yeah, I don't see any other external trauma. Wait, there's an injury on his chest. Hey, you're right. I'm surprised you noticed. Is it a stab wound? Looks like he was pierced with a blade. If that's the case, was he stabbed to death? No, he could have been incapacitated no, he by looks the like an stabbing alien. and then burned. It's impossible to determine the cause of death with what we have. 
You have a big ass headache from the from the VR. Guys, Taco was doing a VR stream today. It was really cool. Oh, you've gone full throttle in this investigation. Good job to me for being your mentor. But why Aphex? Because he was a legend. Mm. Get it, yeah, guys. This corpse is real too. This is. No one used it. <laughs> no. Okay. Is this like the same exact infirmary room? The frick. This Copy paste. Way. Like, it's literally like copy-paste, like the fire extinguisher's in the same spot and everything. That's kind of suspicious. Oh my god, the train's gonna loop. Huh? Hmm? I already can tell. I can already tell what's happening here. This is a restroom, bro. The restroom is in terrible shape. The mirror is cracked and covered in soot. Everyone died, Glitch. Literally everybody is dead. There's no one inside. What did you miss? Uh, everybody died. That's what you missed so far. Anything else? You were, you were busy playing Super Mario Sunshine on my Nintendo GameCube emulator. Hmm? Or sorry, I guess it was probably the anniversary pack. Why is only this bed turned over like this? Maybe it's a hide evidence. I'm kind of just a hunch. Here's that. Okay, true. Wait, door key? Huh? What's this? What is it? Did you find something? The interior lock is open right now, but there's something odd about the latch. Why does why does glitch doing that emote make it aware show up? <laughs> Is that emo called unaware or some shit like that? Look, there appears to be blood on it. That's oh, just called aware, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. Oh shit, wait, that's red blood. My immersion. Let me try to slide it. That's a blood stain, all right. But why is blood there? It seems the blood got on there while the door was locked. That's evidence of something for sure. No harm keeping it in mind. Sure hope you got all that down. Wait, I can in investigate it a second time. Uh... Say! Can you open it from the outside with a key? I think so, I don't know where the key is. I remember Danganronpa every so often had a uh, red blood show up as like evidence and things. And was, like dried blood was always red still. I guess to make it less confusing. All right, guys, want to hear? Want to see what the main twist is gonna be? It says main control room B. It's no use. It won't open. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. The autonomous driving device is there, but not. No on. more cranberry juice. Hey, master. Maybe someone's hiding in there. Any way you can bust it open? Can't you just phase through it because you're a ghost? I don't think so. The door looks too sturdy. Huh? Also, I don't think it's possible for someone to be what hiding a, just, in there. Bro, just phase through it. Apex and Pucci both said that there were only six people on the train. So, including me, there can only be six of us here. Hmm, I see. Oh, why are there two control rooms? Because we're about to loop. Train car? We're looping. They probably have control rooms so it can go in either direction. This is the last car for where we're heading, but it'll be the front car on the way back. Oh, well, now that you mention it, there is a control room in the front train car, too. Watch this. This is going to be the dining room. Y'all ready for the dining room? It won't open. Just this kidding. is the last train car. I tricked There's myself. Nowhere else to go from here. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a loop, but dude, why was the infirmary room set up exactly like my infirmary room? Yo, let me let me look at that map, bro. Yo, get the hell out of the way! Holy shit, this guy is just like messing, my, cramp my style, man. Holy, alright, whatever, I guess. Huh? 
room. Huh? That's weird. This area seems more burnt somehow. Maybe there was something flammable in there. See? Look there! There are traces of something that got burned. Is that some sort of plate displaying the train car number? But why is this the only one completely burnt? Because they don't want me to know which, doesn't uh... doesn't seem particularly flammable. Which train car I'm on? To really confuse my ass? Because I know the first one said one on it. It says main control room A. It's no use. It won't... There's a driver's seat in there, but... No! Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. Please don't a do that. Body <laughs> has been discovered. Okay. We are approaching Kanai Ward. Please mind your belongings. Master, we are almost at the station. You have to catch the culprit. Catch who? Everyone besides me is dead. Are you sure it's everyone? Calm down and count again. Really? Such in car one. <sighs> Melanie in car two. Wait, are these like drawings of the situations? Because they definitely did not look this defined before. Pucci in car three. Zange in car four. And Aphex in car five. No, these are like screenshots. But like brightened. See? That's five. Everyone besides me is dead. But am I dead? That makes you the only possible killer master. Did you do it? No, that's not possible. Why did she draw? Why did she grow two dicks on her head? That's not a very uh. <laughs> but I can't say for certain. I lost my memories, and now I'm seeing a death god. <laughs> Can she put those away, please? There's something wrong with me. Put those, please. Put those away. Death gods are said to please souls. I'm on Twitch. Maybe because I'm being haunted by one. Maybe subconsciously. I. We are approaching Thank you. Kanai Ward. Please watch your step while exiting the train. Oh, we're dead. We're finished. It's over. Zilch. Nada. Pucci. You know what I'm saying? Wow, look at his load time. Come on, rem and ram. Load it faster, come on. Come on, guys. There we go. Congratulations, you killed everybody on the train. You're under arrest. We've arrived! What's it gonna be, huh? What are you gonna do? I, I don't know. Am I gonna be a prisoner no, detective? What? This looks bad! Step out of it, run! Run, but... Where am I gonna run? Master, those guys Sweet peas and call it greens! Run to the front train car! Why is this happening to me? Yeah, why would you run, man? That's the most suspicious thing. Taco, can you add uh, Weeb Run or Animate? I think it's called Weeb Run. I think that's a great emote. Ah, they're coming in! We gotta go! It's very applicable in a lot of things. Wonder if Master can even make Whoa. snap judgments. Bro, danger dodge. Hey, okay, all right, hold on. Let me uh, let me do something real quick. Are you gonna? Let me wait for her to add that email and reset my chat. And then, is that just a quick time event? Is that what danger dodge is? It's just telling me about quick time events. Resident Evil Four. Yeah, th thank you for we run. Okay. I think that emote is so good for so many situations. Yeah, that one. Thank you. Um, you might find something in a pinch during a course of detective work. During the course of detective work, wall the on-screen instructions to get out of those tricky situations. Doesn't make mistakes. Well, there's a time limit for input, right. so be careful. Right. No, I, I like right. that one. I'm ready. <laughs> I have so much time to do that. I guess I can't put my controller down in this game. These people, the police? They're not your friends, that much is for sure. Considering the state of the crime scene, they're totally gonna pin it on you. But. But. I really love his shoes, though. His shoes are still freaking. That's massive drip shoes, oh. bro. Whoa, don't increase your volume like that. The fuck? 
I almost didn't even press that. I didn't even see that fucking letter. Oh! Man just like ate the mic for a second. <laughs> I'm gonna arrest you! Run! L! Holy shit, bro. I gotta press like everything in this game. Should I just not press them and see the game over screens? No, that'll be annoying. I don't even know what I say. No oh! That guy really came from behind. What? Remember? <laughs> no running! Many products are in development, some of which cannot be made public. Alright, thanks. Thanks, Amaterasu Corp. You know what I realized? The setting for this game feels a lot like uh, that anime that we watched from the same maker. Uh, the fuck was it called? I forgot what it was called. Wait, please, listen to me. I couldn't I pay in cash, explain. I swear. I only had credit. Huh. What's that to talk about? You're a master detective of the WDO, aren't you? The name's Swank Katsunel. I'm with the Amaterasu Corporation's peacekeepers. Swank! Akudama Drive, yeah, thank you. Dun, 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 dun. It's because he has a bunch of silver teeth on the top. Is he the palace ruler? I think this game is kind of like that. Amaterasu Corporation From what I understood. Peacekeepers? It's like Danganronpa Persona or some shit. Don't act like you don't know. You're a WDO detective for crying out loud. Or are you some sort of imposter? No, I'm not. I think. You think? Well, oh wait, his teeth say funny. money on it. What's about to happen has already been decided. His metal teeth just say money. <laughs> his hair is giving problematic. Yeah, that's why he was very careful about his facial hair, okay? Which is? The peacekeepers are the defenders of law and executioners in Kanai Ward. If the unjust wander into my space, Oh no, not my space. They will be eliminated. Eliminated? Hey, isn't Kanai Ward under the complete control of Amaterasu? Meaning, these people are like the police here. Police? But it's just some company security department. <clears throat> hey, who are you talking to? All right! You're the only one who can see me, thanks to our contract, Master. It's a bit cliche at this point, huh? <laughs> Don't laugh! Help me! I'll ask again! <laughs> who do you think you're talking to, huh? Talk about suspicious! I'm just talking to, uh... You know, I'm using Bluetooth. I'm sorry! Have you heard of that? Tell me how you're gonna explain this situation. We prepared that trip to welcome you all here. But an internal fight sprawling into a bloodbath was unexpected. It, it's not what it looks like. There's a perfectly logical explanation behind this. Dude, that, uh... One of those guards looks a lot like he's standing exactly like, uh... Like Apex. You're hey, I'm culprit. talking it! Huh? Well, that was direct! Master, try your best to beat him! No, I really don't know anything! Everyone was killed while I was asleep. I don't think so. While the other detectives were asleep, you killed them. It's proof. There's the coffee and wine. What? What the? Oh, you just drank those two? I mean, you fed those two poison? We found coffee and wine in the dining car. When we checked the second car earlier, I had a subordinate drinking. You can see what happened. Looks like some sort of knockout drug was mixed into it. Shut up, Taka. You know what I meant. <laughs> drug? 
Drugs? Which means you drugged the other detectives and killed them while they were passed out. Dude, this guy's kind of swanky. Wow. He may just be a lowly grunt, but he knows his stuff. He could be trouble. Why do you sound so impressed? You see they look like Dorn 999? Are you talking about the 999 mask guy? Because the funny thing is, all of them have 99 on their masks. Suspicious. So did you figure out the cause of death? Oh, I didn't even realize that his smoke is doing designs until he just said that. No, they can't see the ghost. Yes, they all burned to death. Thanks. Huh? All of them? How cruel of you to kill them like that. No, that's wrong. What's your end game in this? Time for is me to argue money? with this guy live. Or is it money? If it's money, hand over everything you swipe. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. He just wants money. That's no fair. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed that the guy who replaced five teeth with the word money would only want money? I'm not the culprit. Yes, you are. You're the culprit. Shut up, Swank. No, I... I'm not the perpetrator, but... What is Do happening? I know that for sure? In this situation, this base is hurting my brain. Besides me, could have done it. There were, without a doubt, only six people on the train. It's and making me very anxious. Killed. Like this is one of those noises that just actively make me anxious. Anyone else getting that feeling? So the only possibility is. Just admit it. I know you're the culprit. It's like actually making me nervous. Holy shit! I hate what that. What am I supposed to do? Admit it now! You're guilty! Am I... the killer? Come on, confess! <laughs> Maybe not. it's better if I confess for Stop, now. Stop, you idiot! Stop being a Coco be head! to get through this now and get some time to think about it. Why confess if you didn't do it? Master, you're an idiot! Dog will kill you! Huh? You heard me? I didn't say it out Dude, loud. Dude, get with the times, Yuma. There you go again, talking to yourself. Must be crazy or something. I hear your thoughts, too. I told you we share the same mind and body. Anyway, never mind that. Why are you giving up already? Well, there's nothing I can do. Wrong. The mystery solving has just begun. Why did you make a contract with me to begin with? Huh? What do you mean? Aww. Stop talking to yourself, you unstable psycho! Bring him down! <laughs> Please! Dude! They didn't even give a shit about lip sync! <laughs> oh, don't sound so pitiful! I'll show you what I'm made of right now! Okay. Come on, master! Hold your mind and body ready! <laughs> It's oh, there it is. This is what I knew about already. Wow, that was a lot of jiggle. It's definitely not Junko. Shut up! <gasps> Shut up with that timing, okay? <laughs> what is this? What's happening? Ooh. Big boobs feel good, you know. Shut up! No, okay, stop. <laughs> All right, there we go. The world. Speaking of time. What's this? What's going on? Ah, who are you? What do you mean? I've been with you the entire time. Wait, you're Shinigami? Big boobs feel good, you know. Oh, right. Guess you can't tell because I'm not puffy anymore. I can only access the mystery labyrinth if I'm at full power, so I had to change forms. But some parts of me are still nice and puffy. It's true. Wanna touch? I, I'm okay. 
Anyway, what's going Dang it, on? Dang it, Rumpa Riders. It's like time has stopped. And what's that hole? <laughs> that hole is connected to the mystery labyrinth. Big boobs labyrinth? feel good, you know. Oh my god, that fucking sound ah, crowd's gonna have a resurgence. Hey, Wait, you have to tell me. What's a mystery labyrinth? Have you ever played Persona 5? It's kind of like a palace. Oof. Save current progress. Yes! Oh my god, I have not saved since 11.30... No, 10.39. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> Ooh, that's bad. If this ends up in a goddamn anime moment and she's on his face, don't worry. It, it will definitely happen. Bad. No frickin' what? Bad. You really don't think this game's gonna go ultimate nurse level? I'm pretty sure it will. I'm pretty sure it will. If we were a sub, we get no ads for a month. It's true. Did you guys know if you have Twitch Prime? <laughs> you could do that for free. I mean, Prime Gaming. Okay, ads seem to be done. Yep, palace. That's a cool ass cape. Ah! Why did you have to scream immediately? Huh? Where am I? Hey, no one fell on me. I guess we're good. We were all wrong. No, that's wrong. This is what you obtained in exchange for your memories, Master. Big smile. You did this, Shinigami? Is this why I made a pact with you? I don't understand any of this. Where are we? Hmm. Simply put, it's an alternate universe. It's got that kind of vibe, right? An alternate universe? Oh, same. Same, Gravy. Hey, you don't sound surprised. Come on, it's awesome! You probably think it's cliched, huh? Well, this isn't any old alternate universe. Check this out! Ta-da! This is the mystery labyrinth. I guess, it's a guys. That materializes mysteries from the real world. Guys, I guess I like mascot characters now. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. I guess, I guess I'm uh, <laughs> a changed person. Materializes mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Unsolved mysteries become lost to time, right? Well, here, they actually take shape <laughs> as a mystery labyrinth. Now, this maze is the materialized form of the unsolved murders that took place on the Amaterasu Express. Nah, I think, I think Shinigami just has really good personality, you know? This maze is the mystery? I have the power to interact with this mystery labyrinth. And that's why we were able to come here in the first place. Yeah, they put a lot. We'll see. They did. A, they put a lot of budget. Master, on uh, the Amaterasu Express Massacre Mystery Labyrinth. What happens when I'll we beat it? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm barely paying attention. In every case, there's a hidden truth, and we have to find the truth deep inside this mystery labyrinth. So, if we beat this mystery labyrinth. The truth of that case will be revealed. Naturally, so will the true identity of the killer. Now, let's solve this thing. 
We'll discover the killer's identity too? You couldn't solve it in reality, so we're solving it in this alternate universe. They're two sides of the same coin. Dude, that facial expression is so it's so smug. So it's such a smug smile. This one I'm talking about. But whether or not you discover the truth depends on the person entering the labyrinth. The more complex the mystery is in the real world, the more complex the maze will be too. Killers in real world <laughs> cases throw whatever <laughs> obstacles they can at investigators, right? Those are also materialized into the maze, so this is gonna be a tough battle. So you're saying there are traps in there? Oh no. Oh no. Yep, looks like you're finally getting it. Now that I've explained it all, let's head into the dungeon. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I, I don't understand any of this. Seriously, you don't get it? <laughs> what is that expression? Bro, what the hell is that? <laughs> what the fuck? True. Uh, a mystery labyrinth is a maze based on a real mystery. This one is formed from the murder on the Amaterasu Express. Yep, you're right so far. So, if there's always a hidden truth inside a mystery labyrinth, if we keep going, the Amaterasu Express case will be solved? Yup, you totally get it! What? I don't get anything! This makes no logical sense! Sheesh! This is why you're a bench warmer detective. You're in an alternate universe and hung up on details. Of course I am! You just gotta pull off your mask, bro. Okay. Wear the hat. You need a top hat. Explain more about how it works as we explore the mystery labyrinth. If you have any more questions along the way, stare at my boobs for eight seconds. That'll make all your worries disappear. No, it won't! Please, explain everything now! Dude, I feel pretty calm right now. Relax, relax! I'll tell you in due time. Come on, let's go! Time to unriddle this mystery labyrinth! Ah, sorry, I forgot to mention the important keys. Whoopsie. Keys? You mean for <laughs> opening doors in the dungeon? Yeah, something like that, but keys in the mystery labyrinth are used to break through mysteries. They're called solution keys, and they're essential to clear the mystery labyrinth. So, where do I find them? I really like this freaking cave. This freaking angle with just the cave. Solution keys are materialized clues for a case. Normally, you'd get them during the investigation. You kinda had to rush through the investigation this time around, so let's briefly review the case. For starters, try to recall all that happened on board the Amaterasu Express. The Amaterasu Express? The Amaterasu Express is the only method of transportation in Kanai Ward. It's an automated, unmanned train with five cars. Its doors won't open while in motion, and windows are fixed in place. There were no stops before our destination, so the train kept moving until it arrived at the station. A monitor in the backup control room displays the operation log, and there was no record of the train stopping. your solution key I don't want it <laughs> I don't want it what the fuck the fuck do you throw up all that the f yo so this is a solution key but why did it come out of your mouth <laughs> just like aqua true mm, what do you mean so I don't have to use my hands I worked really hard developing this method you put thought into this? So that's how words and events you think are clues get transformed into solution keys. Let's keep reviewing what happened in this case. You know, you know what I realized? I bet you like after the transformation, Yuma was like, oh, that's why I sold my soul. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Right. There's no more mystery about that. <laughs> All right, I'll do my best. Uh, 
The incident occurred inside the Amaterasu Express while it was still moving. Including myself, there were six master detectives on board. Aphex and Pucci's abilities confirmed there were no other passengers on the train. Man, I wonder what I'm gonna do with these keys, guys. And who died first again? It was Zilch, and the first car's infirmary. That's not, we don't know that for sure. I noticed smoke pouring through the crack of the door, and looking through the window. No, we don't know he died first for sure. Like, how do we confirm that? I saw a knife stuck in Zilch's chest. The infirmary was on fire, so smoke quickly filled the whole area. I hurried to open the door, but it wouldn't budge because it was locked. Look at that cape! That mean this was a locked room mystery? Not really. There's a chance the killer had a duplicate key. Hmm, that's no fun. Anyway, I broke the door's window and unlocked the door from the inside to enter the infirmary. Okay, for anyone who was who came in late, this is a summary of what happened. Glitch, you better be paying attention. You better not be playing Super Mario Sunshine. By then, Zilch's corpse had burnt to a crisp. I wanted to alert the others, so I moved to the second car, but I found Melamy's corpse there. I think she was set on fire with the liquor in the dining car. Ooh, a flambe! A human flambe! That reminds me, something was off about car two. Right before the train entered the tunnel, there was a strange shaking. There really was. Isn't that from entering the tunnel? It's like air pressure, uh, wind stuff. And there was a blackout right after, although it only lasted a moment. Yeah, what was up with that blackout? Was there one on the other side of the tunnel too? No, when we exited the tunnel, there was shaking again, but no blackout. There was something else too, something that happened when we were in the fourth car. Hmm. I wonder if that's a clue. Wait, what happened in the fourth car? I don't remember. I actually and don't remember the that. next corpse. Was the little girl in the third car? Yeah, it was Poochie. Another burnt body. Just like the first two cars. Oh yeah, wasn't there a secret base thing in the third car? You mean the backup control system? I remember something about that. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. You may have amnesia, but you've got a pretty good memory. <laughs> Anything else you can remember? I did notice that the backup control system was actually operating. And if the backup was on, that means the main system was down, right? What do you think about that? Well, the train never stopped, so it doesn't change the fact that no one could get in or out, right? Yeah, that's true. Next, you found the geezer's corpse in the fourth car, right? He was also covered in burns. Was there anything strange about that corpse? He didn't have any external wounds, but he was holding the cell phone he uses for his photography ability. Oh yeah, that useless ability. It's basically no better than a dash cam. Anyway, forget about the geezer for now. It is a I dash want cab. That old man right. smell haunting my memories. That's actually just a dash cab power. I mean, dash cab powers can be useful. Next and last is the fifth car. Come on, try to remember it. The body we found in the fifth car was completely charred. It was impossible to tell who it was. That chain could have easily just added... But the necklace around the corpse's neck confirmed it was Aphex. We also discovered a stab wound to the chest. Oh, you're right, Bantuatha. You better also, not be... judging by things like the plate on the wall... Bantuatha, you the are... This car appeared to be far more burnt than the other cars. You aren't doing that thing you did when I was playing V3, are you? <laughs> Well, you ain't doing something like that, are you, Bad Tuatha? Because I still remember. I still remember. Maybe the room ended up like that because the victim was on fire and running around trying to put <laughs> it out.
That is a good point, oh, though, regardless. And the blood on the interior lock of the fifth car's infirmary is an important clue, I think. Yeah, the coffee, I did drink the coffee, and then, and then I got sick and knocked out, and I assumed it was the ghost. But I think I was actually... Damn. That is important, isn't it? Uh-huh. So, I guess that does it for our review of the case? Is it gonna be that everybody actually just killed each other equal and had like a draw and all while I was sleeping? Wait, there was something else. After the train arrived at the station, according to the peacekeepers' reports, they all burned to death. But that part seems off to me. And they also mentioned there was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car. Doom, doom, boom, boom. How could this be? Yeah, I think that's everything of note. What about the cool ass cape you have? Is there is that of note? Look at that cool effect on it. Oh my god. We're, we're just gonna see this animation every time. This should be enough solution keys to solve it. But I still don't know how to use them. Master, you worry too much. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Yours truly is important too. Okay, so manifestation of clues, true. Acquire update one by sure investigating. Hope you got all that down. Okay, very cool. So they're basically uh, truth bullets. What the hell? <laughs> wait, these are some jar. Wait, what the? Oh, these are some RPG ass skills. Hey, master, do you need a power? Oh up? my God! What Set the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Bro, what the? Will things really turn out fine? They're just gonna drop that in a hint window? So... This is the mystery labyrinth. It sure looks creepy. Hey, if we keep going, will we really get to the truth? Come on, would I lie to you? I told you the deepest part of the labyrinth holds the truth, right? So, let's go. I'm so horny for mysteries right now. What, was, what did you just, wait, what did she just say? You're, what? Wait, what, wait, what did she just say? Down. Uh, playable loop. There are many places. There are places in the mystery labyrinth where the path just goes on and on. You can't move on until the scene plays out. So keep following the path until it does. <laughs> what? Okay, that's interesting. But give me one second. They randomly, casually dropped. Not that. Okay, first of all. They just like casually dropped some shit about abilities, just just in a Mom, fucking footnote. Attention. Like what you the? Not be hey, master, set whichever skills suit you best. Listen, I don't know what any of this means. Can I even? Oh, I can't do anything yet. Oh no, I can. How many, uh, oh, I have three SP. In Shinigami puzzle sequences, remove one solution key, Shinigami will barf up. Bro, what? In reasoning deathmatch sequences, shorten the assist ability recovery time? This is like almost like exactly how s they sound as ridiculous as. Oops. I'll pick this one. As the skills in Danganronpa. In solution key selection sequences, remove one incorrect solution key. Still on a rotation speed of Shinigami's barrel. Man, I'm gonna eventually know what any of this means, guys. Trust me. I'm, why don't I just waste my skill points and find out? Damn. Damn.
Alright, so what skills do I have equipped? I got max stamina, Shinigami puzzle, solution key selection, and Shinigami... Okay, cool. My strength is one star now. Very pog, guys. Very pog. Okay, guys. Check this out. Here's some gameplay. Oh, also, yeah, wait, that was important. We got it. This, this is also. Uh oh, is it gone? Here's really important. I'm so horny for mysteries right now. Okay. Anyways. Holy moly. That was cool. Where's Gravy? I feel like Gravy would appreciate that. Oh wait, there he is. Oh, there. Thank goodness Gravy's here. Should that be? I don't think that should be a sound. I didn't. I cut it off. Let's just play it one more time, just in case. I'm so horny for mysteries right now. What? what hey, did something move just now? Oh, that's a cue. Oh, okay. What? Cue. Is that a monster living in the Mystery Labyrinth? They're not exactly monsters. Q are part of the Mystery Labyrinth Hey, cool blue. They're what materialize the mysteries. Cool blue, do you like Shinigami? She's very, um, fluffy. Q have no intelligence or autonomy. All they do is manifest the mysteries in the labyrinths. But since you are here to defeat mysteries, they're kind of like obstacles. No, I just had to play it and not can extract it from my stream, Bantu, at the... I'm a genius. So in other words, they're the enemy. Of course, as a detective seeking the truth, mysteries are your greatest enemy. I know that, QMLZ. Wait, so where's the, I don't even know what he's talking about. Who moved? I can't move my camera, by the way. It's literally only, this is literally Final Fantasy 13. It's the same gameplay. Like, I literally just wants me to move forward and enjoy the spectacle, I guess, until something happens. I don't know. I guess this is a tutorial. Hmm? It's a cue! What is that? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Put it back. Bro, put the shit back. Put the shadow back, bro. I, w I wasn't joking, there Gravy. Are monsters here. The trailer I saw basically looked like Danganronpa Persona 5. I'm, I'm not kidding. That's a mystery phantom. A mystery phantom? What's that? I told you that cues make mysteries materialize, right? Well, if there's someone in the real world trying to interfere with the case, that person also materializes. That's a mystery phantom. Interfering with the case? Hey. Doesn't he kind of look like Swank of the Peacekeepers? If the Peacekeepers are tied up in this, then maybe this incident has something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. You! You're the culprit! Huh? Objection! I mean, sorry, wrong game. No, that's wrong! You're right. Since all the other passengers on the train are dead, you're the only one who could have done the crime. So you're the culprit. That's the truth behind this case. Master, he's trying to frame you to bury the case. If you can't get past this, you can't reach the truth. What do I do? Should I just run away? A detective doesn't run from a mystery. You've got to defeat him. Rise, Phoenix. Defeat him? How? Just spawn the giant cock. Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? Huh? Just say, I am. I, I am! Persona! <laughs> Wait, what? Because the young boy sold his soul to her. And then got amnesia.
The fuck is this game, bro? <laughs> what? A sword? <laughs> Shut up, Mazaka. I call it the Solution Blade. It's a sword with special powers to affect things inside the mystery lab. I forgot about the keyhole blade, too. Use that to boom kill the mystery phantom. Let's do this. Whoa, slow down. Uh, how do I use this? I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. Anyway, damage you take here is nothing to sniff at. You don't not have to laugh like that. Real world Stop it. Still. Like, we know you're very proud of this animation you guys made, uh, freaking graphic graphic artists, okay? Stop. The more and more your mind realizes you've been hurt here. Oh boy. You'll wind up brain dead. It'll be game over. Time to start from the beginning again. Yo, the music though. Y'all hear that shit? No one wants that. So you'd better be super careful. Come on, pay attention. Okay, so traps and obstacles lie away in the mystery labyrinth. Make a fa mistake while facing them and mess your stamina while you're it decrease. It's game over when, when you're dead, so don't <laughs> die. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing right Okay. True. Yep, loading screen, yep. Alright, true. Very true. Pog. Did Taco pass out? She's not talking anymore. Her headache might have killed her. I'll tell you a mystery labyrinth secret. Okay, so during a reasoning, so this is a reasoning death match. Okay, mystery phantom will attack master while making statements dodge, about the case. Dodge, duck, dodge. Getting hit by a statement means taking damage. So move up, down, left, and right to avoid it. Track carefully Come and dodge. On, pay attention. If you dodge a statement at the very last second, it becomes a daring dodge. The more daring dodges you make, the bigger the bonus you'll get later. Don't you forget. The bonus for successful daring. Do they literally made like the truth slashing shit into a whole game. Isn't that what this basically is? Basically, there's a cap on how much you can get, okay? Don't let any shady statements slip by. Uh, and flammable statements give you a chance to counterattack. Yep, okay. Statements might contain a tr contradiction. Slash to it with the solution blade and fight back against the phantoms to expose the contradiction. Right? Dude, this is so right? cool. I love this. Right? They added more action to the Danganronpa system. Slash those suspicious statements! Uh, if you slash statement containing contradiction to the right solution key, you'll destroy it and damage oh. a mystery phantom. Picking the wrong solution here, missing the timing, then he's taking damage. Okay. I got this, guys. There's no way I screw this up. Whoa, no, no, no. Stop, stop. No need to draw this out. Oh, I got you. How is the timing on this? Five bastard detectives. That's there the only go. explanation. Everyone else is dead. You're the only one who could have done the crime! Audio? Hello? I feel like we just missed out on a, on a moment. No! There's That's no wrong! Way I could have done it! Dude, it actually fucked- the audio fucked up. I wasn't conscious the whole time because I drank the drugged coffee in the dining car. It's no use! No, that's wrong! Your deduction is Taco's wrong. Taco's alive! I thought you died from your headache. You Mr. were out the whole time. You did? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was really slow, wasn't it? I was trying to speed it up and it broke my entire freaking sound. Looks like there are more solutions to choose from. The number of keys will change. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is literally dang and rompa. I am. I am skipping over this. Wait, how do I switch? Oh. Ridiculous! You're the culprit. I'm trying you to get points. It was drunk. Ha! That's how you avoided being knocked out. Ha! The other detectives were drugged. Ha! <laughs> you went around killing them all. Ha! You're busted. No. 
I'm gonna slash this. Coffee. I did. I did take the lace coffee. And Whoops. Only pretended to drink it. No, that's wrong. I have, I have proof. This is the truth. This is the truth. Zonga's photography footage showed me drinking the coffee. Idiot. That proves I wasn't faking anything. Cool. Okay, <laughs> it's just over. it's just over like that. The music just stops. All right, very cool, very good pacing on that. <laughs> Did I defeat it? See, no matter how weak you are, things will turn out fine as long as I'm here. He tried to frame me as the culprit. Guess that's what Amaterasu Corp is doing. They want to set you up and call it a day. That's why the peacekeepers barged in as soon as the train hit the station. They probably planned this. The re-election of Gami's design, same. So they knew what was going to happen. It, it would have hit harder if you knew what her original design was for like three hours. Or someone hired by them. Either way, the peacekeepers want to hide Before the surprise it. reveal. So the reason Control Headquarters didn't respond to the emergency calls was because of Amaterasu. Probably. Now that we know what they're aiming for, we're one step closer to the truth. Let's keep this up and unriddle this mystery labyrinth so we can get to the truth. You're awfully casual about this. My life is at stake here. When you get your hat, he's like, I feel like Yuma's going to be the opposite of Shuichi where he's going to wear a hat and get cooler. From what I saw in the freaking promotional art. I understand now that the mystery labyrinth is the case's mysteries given shape. But what do you do here, Shinigami? Simply put, I'm the one and only cutie that can directly interact with the mystery labyrinth. This came in look more badass, yeah. Oh, you know what? Damn, I wish there was I wanted to show cool blue this, but I don't think it goes back enough. There's way too much dialogue that happened since. Oh no wait, maybe it will. That's a long scroll bar it has going. What the fuck? Yo, does it actually keep all of this? Wait, did I already go past it? I did. Here we go. Hey, Cool Blue, check this out. Is this a good reason to like Shinigami? I'm so horny for mysteries right now. The progress you've made in the mystery labyrinth and solving those mysteries here. Big boobs feel good, you know. It's all thanks to me. Make that a sound comment. She also goes, if you're confused, if you have any questions, stare at my boobs for eight seconds and you'll feel better. How are you able to do this? I don't know what to tell you. I've always been able oh, wait. to do this. So Gravy, I did you miss that help. part too? I think you did because you were in the bathroom. Oh, I got, now I got to do this for Gravy. <laughs> Dude, this takes forever. Oh, oh, wait, I can go faster. Oh, you were here for that one? Oh, shit. I've already I've already committed, so wait. I know. When did it happen? Dude, I'm surprised there's so much history available. Like this is like a long time ago they sent any of this. Wait. Was it a bit before the horny one? Was it? I feel like it was a lot further because uh Taco was still awake back then. You know? That was like three years ago. All right, maybe I should give up. This is a huge waste of time. <laughs> no, because I'm pretty sure it was before you even go into the mystery labyrinth. Ah, it's, it's too much work. Surely there will be a clip eventually. More importantly, you got drugged and knocked out. You are so pitiful, master. No wonder you're waddling around like a toddler. I thought I was dizzy because I've got this weird ghost thing haunting me. Yep. Coffee was it. Huh? Making a pact with me won't make you dizzy. That just reduces your lifespan by a lot. You're kidding, right? Right? <laughs> anyway, who do you think is the culprit, Master? 
Wait, they're actually guesses. moving their... Um, if the drinks were drugs in the dining car, the culprit must have been on the train before anyone else. Look, Cool Blue made his choice, okay, Gravy? Oh, so then all you have to do is ask around and figure out what order everyone got on board. Oh, wait a minute. You can't, because they're all dead! So this is all just conversation. This is just a visual novel conversation, but... I gotta constantly hold forward while pressing you A. You aren't taking this very seriously, are you? And there's a lot of effects. I don't get the point of this part. What is the point of this? Guys, can anyone explain to me why I have to constantly walk forward like this? Until something happens? <laughs> is this gameplay? Mm. This that wasn't even in front of me. Whoa, the path is forked in two. Oh Which shit! Way should I go? Oh shit! A branching path. Never mind. This is gameplay. This fork in the path is also a materialized mystery, so you should know which way to go if you solve it. First, let's clarify what mystery this is exactly. Uh huh. Uh, how do you do that? Like this. Ooh, a scythe. That's sick. Huh? Oh shit! And I'm dead. And ah! so Blood! Blood! Quit overreacting, Master. This is a mystery labyrinth. It's fine. Anyway, take a look. I'll use the blood of the truth seeker as a conduit to expose the mystery blocking the path. It's actually the wait, that that blood is red! No! <laughs> is that a question? Uh, is the culprit one of the six on the train? That's the mystery standing in your way. You just need to pick the right path and head on through. Six on the train. It must mean the six master detectives, including me, right? If I don't think the culprit is among the six on the train, then I should take the right path, which says no. No. But if I think the culprit is one of the six on board, I need to take the left path that says yes. It was. I do remember it being pink in the trailers. That's why I'm like saying no. Which is it? There's Shit. only one truth. Guys. No. I kind of feel like it's no. But also, what if it was the coffee girl? <sighs> she only gave me the coffee. And then what if she just got killed by someone else before she finished the job? And then those guys all just killed each other. I, what, if, what if there was like a huge bloodbath, you know? And they all just died before anyone hit, killed me. So I just won by default. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Apex's body was the least to find. You're right about that. It was kind of whack. Just randomly had an unburnt necklace on it, which... I don't know, I felt like that metal thing might have melted in that heat. Then... Master? Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna say they were on the train, and they died. So, you think the culprit is one of the six on the Let's train, see what happens. right? Sure. Okay, let's go. Bomb bomb. Can I just fall into the void and die? Can I go through now? Oh, you got it right? Not bad at all, Master. Oh, see? Easy. Not one of these guys. Not him again. Ah! Something happened. Why? Did I make the wrong choice? It's trying to bury the truth again. Go get him, master. Again? Come on, man. Let me show you how it's done. I mean, he's the master of this mystery labyrinth, I guess. This is kind of like Persona, where it's like devised from a real life person. Regional deathmatch. 
Map and testimony of two detectives. Your deduction is wrong! Wait. Other than the six on the train, you must have had an accomplice. You Whoops. two committed the crime. In that case, it all fits. Even if ah, you it alone. <laughs> that went so slow, I got screwed. It was possible with an accomplice. Uh huh. Ah. Okay. Hold on, hold on, let me read these. Apex and, and Poochie's forte is proved there are no other passengers besides the six people inside the train. Okay, that's fine. Created an alibi for yourself. Drinking the coffee Dude! and knocking yourself out! You probably stop jumping those. Oh wait, I was supposed to hit that! I, fuck, I pressed the wrong button. This game is too hard. Wait. If there was an accomplice, a murder could happen even when the culprit slept. Was there really someone else? Uh. Your deduction is oh, here we go again. Other than the six on the train, you must have had an accomplice. Oh. Two master detectives used their abilities to prove that only six people were on the train. If it was only one person, they could have been lying or an imposter. But two of them means there can be no mistake. Wrong! Your reasoning is completely off! It is? Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, we got new things to look at. Never mind, we're good. What good does that test about? Um. Peacekeeper death report. The victims all burned to death according to the peacekeeper's report. According to the log, the train did not stop once. It is extremely likely that someone boarded the train while it was in motion. Okay, that, sound, that one sounds pretty good. What do you even do? Your accomplice just wasn't there when those two checked. They came aboard after that. No, that's so wrong! The windows don't open. While everyone was knocked out, you secretly stopped the train and let your partner board. I'll slash through this mystery! I'll slash through this mystery! I'll cut through those words! The backup controller's operation log showed that the train never stopped. And the doors won't open unless the train stops. So it's impossible for someone to have gotten on during the trip. Damn. It's gonna suddenly cut off again. Don't get too in don't enjoy the music too much, guys. <laughs> Looks like you're getting the hang of this, Master. You've learned to ruthlessly cut down any who stand in your way. You make it sound like I'm the bad guy here. Anyways, hey, let's walk forward. I was wondering. You know what? Let's make this. Let's make this more interesting. Watch this. From seeking the truth. Wouldn't it reject my answers even if they're right? Or maybe the questions themselves could be lies. Chance. A mystery labyrinth has no self will. Look at this, a double. Ooh! Or create things not based on the real world mystery. This place is a direct manifestation. Watch this, wanna see a zigzag? You can always progress as long as you keep solving it. Oh, let's go. In that sense, the labyrinth is fair. It won't cheat you. I see. That's a relief. <laughs> By the way. Without the culprit being one of the six of you, how could the culprit commit the crime when all the other passengers besides you were dead? It's not a matter of who, but when. He, she didn't respond to that. It's about when they died. They couldn't have all died at the same time. There's a whole two hour window. Bro. That's right. Sh 
Oh, I'm trying to make a clip to the floor. Oh! New gameplay? Another fork in the road. This Got is it. how we reach the truth. It reflects how problems are really solved, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if I've ever actually solved a mystery on my own. I don't remember it all. It doesn't matter. You just need to solve the mystery in front of us. All right, cut me in the neck. Oh, he doesn't even respond this time. Everyone was dead. How did the caller pull it off? Say. Either. You know what? I'm going to say play dead. That last one looked like a doll. That's how I'm going to help you. Can you leave all the heavy lifting to your lovely mystery and labyrinth guide? Yeah. Yeah, really? That'd be a big help. Wait. Why did you just tell me? I already... Guys, let it be known. I already said play dead. Okay, guys? Before she even walked over there. Come on. Oh. Huh? Oh. Uh, I guess I'll think about the opposite door. Oh, okay. What is fucking? What is happening right now? Oh, I got oh. it. Master, leave this to me. This has to be the right answer. Follow me. Hey, wait. Go on. Go on. The culprit just played dead. Because if they did commit suicide after the crime, they'd be dead right now. Wait, That's where's that no chain going? They want you to see if you get the wrong end. Wait, I don't know. Maybe. That's your reasoning? Wait, what's this chain? I told you we share mind and body. The chain is proof of that. Our relationship can never be broken apart. <laughs> Dude, goals. That's terrible. Please, you should consider yourself lucky. You're being haunted by a cutie like me. True. Okay, that looks really weird now from this angle. <laughs> I'm so tired. I pulled you up here so you can walk the rest of the way yourself. I didn't ask you to do that. Did you just... Oh my god, please pull me more. This is so horrible. you think this path will lead toward the truth? Why are we set? Doesn't right. we have dialogue in the bottom instead of me having no to press idea. A? This is a labyrinth. It's pretty common to encounter dead ends. Yeah, what if there's something over here? Nope. What about over here? Shit. You know what? Why don't we try going right this time? Whoa, what? Shit! <laughs> Shouldn't have gone right! You see? What did I tell you? Dead end. Don't sound so proud of yourself. You chose this path, Shinigami. Hmm. If it's a dead end, maybe the culprit wasn't just playing. Oh, dead. now I understand what you're even saying in the first place, Gravy. I was gonna pick the wrong one on purpose. And they were, without a doubt, dead. Oh, so the answer isn't play dead. Let's turn back. You changed your mind already? Exploring all possibilities oh, so would it just be is like an a... important part of beating a mystery labyrinth. So it would just be a jump scare and I would probably die and be like, oh, okay. <laughs> that sounds about right. So awesome. <sighs> By the way, I did say I can guide you through the mystery labyrinth. But not well. But I'm not that good at solving mysteries. You could have said that a little earlier. So basically, I'm stupid because I thought it was the right answer as I well. I just want to help. I like when you rely on me, Master. Anyway, what's going on in the real world while we're in the mystery labyrinth? Time has stopped on the other side. We're sort of set apart from the normal flow of time while we're here. That works better than Persona. In other words, you're still surrounded by peacekeepers. So if we return without solving the mystery, we'll just be captured. As a result, this murder case will remain unsolved and linger in people's memories as a serious crime. Naturally, this mystery labyrinth will also survive. And that creates an even bigger problem. Which is? Leaving a case unsolved means that it will go down in history that way. Oh the no! The more bizarre a mystery is, the more it attracts people's interest. Sounds a lot like a palace. And the more people rack their brains about that mystery, 
the bigger the mystery labyrinth gets. Sounds a lot like palaces. Eventually, the mystery labyrinth would gain enough power to start affecting the real world. Sounds a lot like palaces. It would implant insidious ideas into people's minds, creating more murderers and, in turn, new mystery labyrinths. Sounds a lot like palaces. Labyrinths can create endless cycles. That's why it's best to cut it off as soon as possible. It sounds way more daunting than I thought. You guys, uh, you guys think it sounds a lot like palaces? <laughs> ah, we're finally back. So do you think if I got the first one wrong, this whole part wouldn't have even happened? The other route is commit suicide after the crime. There's no other option, so it has to be the right answer. Hmm. Take this! I thought I slashed the door last time. Why did I just open it this time? Careful. Quadruple murder suicide? Yep, yeah, basically. So I was right then about my first idea of it being like a battle royale to the death, and then I just left out. But to commit suicide after the crime would mean. After anyone else just the other four, the culprit killed themselves, right? Does anyone else just think these are the best shoes ever? Is look look that how nice really they look. Is really the right answer? The mystery labyrinth's roots represent logical deduction. If there's only one route, then it's the only possibility. I think the only option left is the culprit off himself. We just need to find that suicidal pest. When do I get the hat? I want a hat. Wait, is it her hat? Is she wearing a hat? That's a crown. Nope. I'm pretty sure I get a hat at some point. Come on, it's in the promotional material. It's in my freaking schedule art graphic. Ah! What's going on here? What? Uh oh. Surprise. More gameplay. This is part of the mystery materializing. You just need to solve it. Come on, Master! Concentrate! Oh no, it's timed answering questions, isn't it? This is like logic dive. Come on, concentrate, concentrate! Whoa, whoa. Yep. Who was the last person to die during this incident? The culprit! Culprit committed suicide after the crime, then the last person that died should be the culprit. Right, because they wouldn't be able to kill someone else if they off themselves already. Nice work! Come on, let's try again! Who set fire to the dead culprit? The person who started the fires must be the culprit. All five burned to death, so the culprit who died last totally burned himself. I think we're good, right? Surely. Come on, let's try again. Who was the last person to be burned to death? Um. Oh shit. Uh, that Zilch. It was Zilch because I saw him. Four, then set themselves on fire. His zilch! <laughs> Bingo! You did it, Master! So Zilch was the culprit? But you know, setting aside the idea that the culprit was the last to die... Oh yeah, motive. Why would it be Detective Four Eyes? Didn't we discover his body first? According to the peacekeepers, the victims all burned to death, right? But when we first found Zilch in car one, he wasn't burnt yet. If that's the case, that means he must have burned to death after that, although everyone else we found after him had already died from burns. Yeah. That was the thing I was wondering about, because remember how there was the second car that looked exactly like the first car? Like with the exact same placement of the fire extinguisher and stuff? But then the bed was knocked over where Zilch normally was in the first place? I think I got turned around at some point when the lights turned off or some shit. Alright. So if they all burned to death? Then the last one who died could be Detective Four Eyes. I think the culprit killed everyone in the opposite order of how we found their corpses. Starting from car five, 
He killed them in order one by one, then set himself on fire in car one. So, Detective Four Eyes is without a doubt the culprit. But he committed suicide, huh? Hmm. I don't know how it all connects, but... The door! Oh, sorry, you guys couldn't see who was in part above car five? Yeah, it was Aphex. You like character two sucks she died? Yeah. Whoa! I'm assuming, wait, character two was who? Was that, uh, Pucci? It worked? See, I told you it would be fine. I'm such a terrific guide. Yeah. Oh. Is that the end of it? I Looks like a boss right in front of me. Seems easier than I thought. What's wrong, Master? But how would I prove it? I'm wondering if that's really all that happened. Something about this seems off. It does? You think so? Not again! Ah. Ah, what's going on? Conclusion, Zilch killed the, the other four and then set fire to Conclusion? Is this the truth behind the case? There's only one door. No other options. Maybe this really is the end. Kind of a simple conclusion despite five people dying. Well, I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you, Master. T yeah. Wait. Mystery labyrinths contain all the mysteries of the real world case, including things like misdirection, right? Which means this could be an attempt by the culprit to mislead us. Oh. So, you don't think this is the truth? What makes you say that? I'm not sure, but I have a feeling the case isn't closed yet. If so, then this door could be a fake. How can we tell? If you think it's fake, why not try breaking it? It'll be bad news if you're wrong, though. And I won't tell you exactly what will happen. I don't want to affect your judgment. You've already affected my judgment. I guess the only way to find out is to destroy it. All right. How do I do that? Your fist. It's gonna be another edgy ass, uh. Nah! Demolish that so shit! It was fake! It was the culprit trying to throw us off the trail! Aha! It's the same guy again! <laughs> I should have known! You said it just quit while you were ahead. This frickin' same guy every time. How many times do I teach you this lesson, old man? Here. This mystery labyrinth is way tougher than I thought. Master, don't let your guard down. Make sure you drop your money before you drop dead. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. Hey, he said that a lot. That's what he said in real life, too. Swank is the culprit. That would not be very swanky of him. I'm not gonna lie. Can I make this game harder by any chance? I wonder if Master can even make snap judgments. Oh shit, they added noise too now. These will obstruct your vision again in the way, so use the solution blade to cut them down. The more noise destroy, the bigger the bonus you'll get later. Sure, destroy them. Never mind, it's getting harder. Guys, it's getting harder. Knife and corpse and Melanie's corpse. Let me check. The culprit this must be Zilch. Wait, no, not that. Obvious. Zilch is the only one who oh. could have done the crime. Hold on. Melanie's corpse discovered in car two has burnt your crisp with a face barely recognizable. The knife stuck in Zilch's chest it was deeply embedded and could have certainly caused a fatal wound. You know, what? I'm gonna use Melanie's corpse. Have a good night, Wazika. Did I get hit by it? He burned the four passed out victims, then set himself on fire, and died from immolation. Oh wait, no, 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 not that one. The so the, the freaking dagger is what I meant to use. Say. Is that the cause of death? No, no, shut, shut up, shut up, Shinigami, shut, shut, shut up, shut up. Let me try that again. Reason is obvious. 
I keep missing the freaking uh, noise. Zilch is the only one who could have done the crime. He burned the four passed out victims, then set himself on fire and died from immolation. This is the truth. You would have named, immediately given Shinigami some cocoa head if you were him? Oh my no. god. Now that I think about it, Zilch's suicide by fire doesn't make sense. Because when I saw Zilch through the window, there was a knife in his chest. If he burned himself, then why would there be a knife stuck there? Oh, uh, he, he tripped. You little brat. Fine. I'll answer you. Okay. Let's say that interior lock and coffee and diamond size. I was stuck in the body. Um, infirmary in car five was locked from the inside. There was a small amount of blood spatter on the interior lock. Coffee with a knockout drug mixed into it. You would pass out after. Okay, I think this uh, blood stain is more important right now. Uh, of course I know why. Yeah, it was to knock himself out. Wait, what? Well, fucking walked into himself it. so he would pass out easy. Then set himself on fire. Dying by fire is a painful way to go. Very true. He wanted to make it less painful. The culprit has to be Zilch. No. Fuck. Come on. I was a knife stuck yeah. to his body. Oh. oh. I was a knife stuck in the body. No, I didn't mean to fucking slash them. Of course I know why. It, yeah, it was to knock himself out. I slash through this mystery. There we go. It kinda sounds like Danny DeVito, yeah. Sorry, I couldn't. I don't know there was an ad, but I couldn't really do much there. Plan was to fall unconscious. He would have used the drugged coffee in the dining car. That's a much easier way to pass out. What? Obliterated. And music stop. <laughs> I see why the music doesn't loop that long. So they're trying to mislead you about the cause of death for Detective Four Eyes. Right. The peacekeeper said all the detectives burned to death. But Zulch's corpse in the first car is different. To me, it looked more like he was stabbed to death. So the peacekeeper's report was a lie? But they had no reason to do that. If they wanted to set you up as the culprit, they'd be raising questions by fabricating reports. Yeah, you're right. They all must have died by fire, after all. And for some reason, only Zilch appeared to have been stabbed to death. I get it. So that's what was bothering me. But no matter how hard I think about it, I can't seem to figure out what happened next. Huh? Why's that? I don't have enough clues about Zilch in the first car. I should have investigated it more after discovering the body, but I was too preoccupied with calling for help. So we're stuck right here. I don't see any other routes to break through this mystery. Oh shit. I don't even know what mystery we gotta solve right now. So is this like how palaces work in uh, Persona 5 where once you get to a certain point you gotta solve something in the real world in order to progress it more? But I do know there can't be a labyrinth without a goal. The truth is always behind a mystery. You wish you had investigated more, right? So you think you'd have the answer if you'd done that? Huh? Yeah, maybe. Oh, fine. My secret weapon is so draining, I try to avoid using it as much as possible. But I just love it when you rely on me, Master. I have a bad feeling about this. What are you trying to do? Punch me back to the past? Do they make any games that aren't mystery-based? Good question.
I like that she has a question mark tattoo. Uh, not that I'd noticed immediately or anything. What's going on? I don't like this, uh, this confusion expression. It reminds me of things from I'm other games. I'm extracting your memory and materializing it inside the mystery labyrinth. This is my super cute special weapon. See, if you investigate here, you might make some new discoveries. Oh, the shock from all this is making my head spin. But let's not lose our heads, though. You don't have any time to waste, Master. This was pumped out of that slow brain of yours, so don't assume it'll stick around for long. You have until the pain in your head clears up. Now hurry and investigate. You got it. I'll hurry. Is that why they made the wobble animation for walking around? Yep. I gotta wobble constantly for these, don't I? Oh, he's not even a wobble. He's just head holding his head. This blanket is mostly burned, but some parts near the knife are unscathed. It doesn't look like there's blood on the blanket at all. But how could that be? New key! Oh, so I can get solution keys here, too. You may have seen it, but forgotten. That just means you didn't think anything of it at the time. But it is in your memory, so you can use it as a clue. You can do that? You're incredible, Shinigami. <laughs> Go on, keep complimenting me. Ow, ow, my head. Oofers. Cushion. Huh? This cushion? Was it always there? Hey, there's a knife. Oh, use this to pretend to stab himself. Yeah. Also, it looks like it has a hole in the middle of it. Or it's something else much more suspicious, but I'm gonna assume it was the knife. It was made by something sharp. What did this? Okay, very cool. Oh, it's fading. I guess the pain is starting to go away too. Looks like time's up. Well, did you find anything? Yeah, I think I see the contradiction here. Although I'm not completely sold on it. Come on, this is where you're supposed to declare, I've solved the mystery. I've solved the mystery. Well, if you think you're on the right track, then I guess we should do this next. Do what? It's for when you're stuck in your deductions. Remember what I said earlier? Every labyrinth has a goal. So even when you're stuck, there's always a way out. And we're gonna find it by working together. Working together? Oh shit, I hope we do a comic book. Lay it all out, master! Please? A bomb? That's kind of like a comic book. Wait. What's happening? Huh? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. what's going on here? Excuse me? Do I need to turn off my stream? We are gonna expose the truth together. Is is she the truth? <laughs> Dang robot two? Yeah. Shinigami puzzle is, uh, you guys notice that she seems to be wearing a bra only? Alright, move, hit pointer, grab solution key, throw solution blade. Zoom in, zoom out. The fuck is this? Shinigami puzzle is one of my secret techniques to uncover the hidden truth. What? The truth is, oh, by the way, there in the bottom right is how she normally looks. That ghost under chat. The truth is hiding somewhere in the letters of this, on the side of the barrel. Uh, containing yours true. Oh, this is actually Hangman's Gambit? It says. Read the question and knock out the letters in the right order. Oh, you right. If you can knock out the letters in the right order, it'll be imbued with the power of truth and unleash a special move that will open up the path. By the way, if you feed me um, the solution keys floating around the barrel, I'll f I'll give you whatever hint comes to mind. Grab the key and bring it to my mouth, huh? Sorry, what? Don't you forget. There's some solution keys you can't get hints from. If I eat one of those, the time that will be reduced. Oh. I don't need hints. Let's work together. 
What is it? Detective Zelda's death was actually a red herring. Where's R? 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 You guys want me to feed her just to see what happens while I wait for this R? Here. Eat it. There's no red. He used a cushion to block the knife, pretending to be dead. Yeah, I figured that out. Okay. That's right. That's right. Whoa. We're definitely revealing the truth here, guys. The truth will be revealed. Uh. I just need the D now. There it is. Did you guys see that? Oh, never mind. Wow, is she gonna have like... You guys think that they were crazy enough to spend a bu What the fuck? A bunch of their budget on making her have a different outfit every time to reveal for everything? For every case? Oh my god, it's a big key! That's a big boy key. That's right. When I saw Zilch through the window, it appeared as if the knife was stuck in Can his I, chest. Can I? I just want to repeat this again. The way they have the cape working like that, where it's kind of like fading out of existence like a flame, but it's still a cape. It looks so cool. That cape looks so freaking badass. But in actuality, he stabbed the blanket-wrapped cushion to make it look like he had been stabbed. That's why the blanket didn't have blood on it, even though the cushion was stabbed through. Zilch's death was a red herring. It was meant to mislead us. And the music just stops all of a sudden and we're walking again. <laughs> hey, it's a minecart. Is that the one I came in with? I guess so. All right. In before Skelch, let's talk it. No. New key. Red herring. Cool. It's a new solution key. If it was a red herring, that means he wasn't really dead. Yeah, Zilch was faking his death to fool us. You fool! That knife was just to trick me into thinking he was dead when I looked through the window. But the Peacekeeper's report saying they all burned to death created a contradiction. So the culprit was just plain dead. It's exactly what I said. In a roundabout way, yes. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. You know what? We're right. Which means that dead end in the abyss could have a new path now. Oh, that's also new. Let's hurry back. I didn't expect that, but sure. We gotta walk back. Oh my god. All right, here we go, guys. Wait, I got anything really important. Guess what? I haven't done again. I have not saved in. One and one hour and ten minutes. What the hell? We gotta walk down this? Alright, come on. Let's go. Let's keep walking. Uh, What's wrong? It's too much of a hassle to go all the way back there. I don't want to walk anymore. True. Some guy you are. Besides, Glitch. you're not even walking. I can think of two big reasons why you like this game more than Danganronpa. I despise effort and hard work. I want to head back the easy way. Oh, I know. I have a convenient transportation method, thanks to my awesomeness. It lets us go anywhere you've been before. Now is the perfect time to use it. Okay. What the fuck are these? What's convenient? Zom and... Ev what is this supposed to be? Zoom and eva evac? Huh? Look at her- look at his eyes! I didn't realize they tracked this until now. Guys, which one do I pick? This is hard. This is a hard game. Left or right? I'll take the first answer in chat. Oh, 
Well, evac was first, so. A mysterious force is blocking you from casting this spell. What the? That spell will let you escape from within a labyrinth, but you can't use it inside the mystery labyrinth. Oh. Anyway, time to pick again. Ch sure. Wait, are these? Are those Dragon Quest references? Is that what I'm not understanding here? Is Evac a skill in Dragon Quest? Cause I don't I've heard I know what Zoom is. Oh my god. Yep. See? Super easy. Yeah, sure. But unfortunately, using it does That's why they're drain censored. a little bit. Drain a little bit of what? Do you have MP or something? Your lifespan. My lifespan? Again? Is this gonna be a running gag where everything just drains my lifespan? So we passed through how did the culprit pull it off junction and have taken the play dead turn again. Now that we have a new solution key, I'm sure we can solve I, this mystery. I appreciate that, even though I haven't played Dragon Quest. You know what? Now I gotta confirm it, because surprisingly, no one who plays Dragon Quest seems to be in my chat right now. Or else they would have been popping off. Yeah, Evac is a spell in the Dragon Quest series. When used, it warps a user and his, his or her party outside of the dungeon they're inside. Zoom is also from Dragon Quest. It can be used to quickly fly and have instantaneous transportation. To revisit old areas. Yeah, I only know, knew about Zoom because it's Smash. The evac wasn't in Smash, which is why I didn't know it. That's great. Now that we have a... Yeah, because if Jumpy was here or... Uh, or Juan, they would have been like, Yo, good one, dude. Go on, I feel like. Now we have a new solution here. I'm sure we can solve this mystery and access what's ahead. Let's give it a try. I don't remember if uh, Pikachu played. I feel like Pikachu has decided not to watch this series. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. What Yours truly is important too. What proves the okay solution key selection? What proves the culprit played dead? We are gonna expose the truth okay. together. The pillow does. I already have that key. Let's go. Take this! Zilch was trying to trick us into thinking he'd killed himself. New path has been unveiled. A Guys, bridge. we get to walk on a bridge this time. This is gonna be crazy. Y'all ready for this? Didn't I say the path would appear? It's all because we found the right deductive clue to break through. I'm so amazing. You can pat me on the head if you want, Master. Done. Well, maybe later. See, you like how Yuma doesn't say no. He knows he wants to do that later. <laughs> Except you get spiked by the fucking crown. We opened the plague dead route thanks to the corpse red herring solution key. So Zilch really faked his death to mislead us. If so, he is absolutely the culprit. Now, we just need to prove it. But even if the mystery labyrinth is fair when it comes to solving mysteries, the real world will be different, right? What if Amaterasu Corp decides to protect the culprit, even if we prove who really did it? Oh, you're worried they'll just cover it up? No need to worry about that. Yeah, I guess we're just casually walking out. The game is like, you know what? That's too much gameplay for one day. Huh? Why is that? Let's save the fun for later. <laughs> oh, the ground! Oh, it's schnitzel. Falling apart. You better run, Master! Why? Wasn't this the right route? Pick me up! Maybe Pick me up, Shinigami. Yeah, I like how her hair animates. Whoa! Quick! 
Quick time event time. I would definitely not be able to concentrate if I my neck gets. Oh, what the fuck! <laughs> I think he's concentrating because of that backwards hug. Was you must what you must saw the thing actually zilch? No. Fuck! It actually won. I was very I was very confidently wrong. Just kidding! I'm actually super serious and concentrated. <sighs> I just wanted to see what happened if I was wrong, even though I knew I was wrong. <laughs> so confident. When I saw Zilch through the window, <laughs> he was faking his death with a knife to the cushion. That was definitely the real Zilch. Why did I get my neck snapped? Oh no, it wasn't his neck snapping. It was him realizing that he was, uh, like, while he was thinking about cushions, he was also interacting with cushions. And that made him focus. You know what I'm saying? Was the burnt corpse in car one actually zilch? Uh, no! The corpse I investigated was real. It just wasn't zilch's corpse. In other words, zilch swapped himself out for a real corpse. Ah. Zilch swapped places with the corpse in the infirmary. After I entered, I'm pretty sure, because it was a weird shit going on. Just kidding! I was just kidding, guys! I swear! <laughs> Alright, so I'm completely wrong about my logic. Gotcha. I actually meant before I entered. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. The corpse was switched right before I broke the infirmary window to open the lock. The blazing fire had filled the room with smoke, so oh, I couldn't make anything out through the, the window. Smoke. That makes sense. Zilch used that smoke as cover to switch himself with a dead body. I got it. I get it. The fire wasn't only there to show he died from burning. Do you guys think that the budget is actually going to be based on? Literally every minigame having a unique animation and that never gets repeated. Like these unique set pieces. Because that was the same game as the fucking uh, minecart part. But it was in a whole new fucking situation. And by the way, I'm still on chapter zero. Zero. Chapter freaking zero right now. It was also a smoke screen to swap out the corpse. Right. In the smoke, he switched places with a corpse he had hit... Oh no! Wait, what the fuck? A TV? Bop, 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 bop. Next up, you need to deduce where the corpse was hidden. Because the room was filled with smoke, he needed to put the body somewhere he could access immediately. Where are you thinking? If he needed to get to the body as quickly as possible, only one place makes sense. Um. What place is suspicious? Matters master doesn't make mistakes, right? Uh, right? maybe, maybe right. it was in, inside the guys. Maybe uh, he hid it inside the the fire extinguisher. What is this? Okay, probably it was probably under the bed, right? Where else could it possibly be? Here. Here. That's it. The burnt corpse was hidden right there. Uh, hey. Jeez, one after another. This is really bad for my heart. We're not done yet. Hurry, let's speed it up. Shinigami, you might be fine because you're floating around, but this is really tough for me. I can't believe it. We had the corpse hidden under the blanket. Dude, we're, go we're back to the classic gameplay. So, that four-eyed detective was sleeping next to a dead body. 
I'm so jealous. What? I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too, guys. Oh, the fuck? Hi. Ads? Oh, he put up ads, bro. Zilch Even this place has ads. With the corpse. He got up once the smoke screen was ready. He took the corpse out from under the blanket, pulled the knife out of the cushion, and stabbed it. And then put that his glasses way, on even it. Even after he switched with the corpse, he could just hide to avoid me. Where did he hide? Where did Detective Four Eyes hide after that? It must have been someplace with easy access, which must mean under the bed. Under the bed. He could have quickly hid there. Which means, if you checked under the bed at the time, you would have caught yeah. that four-eyed idiot. This is a really bad ad. There's no ads playing. Oh, you mean this ad? Okay, never mind. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Rosie. But back then, I was in such a hurry to warn the other master detectives. I'm sure he calculated all that, too. It's like, I don't even know what I'm he trying to buy. Like Murder? Panic. Maybe he was planning Oh, wait, to I'm supposed to be watching. Sorry, guys. Oh, that's frick. why he let you live. Yeah, I think Zilch was the one who peeked into the restroom while I was sleeping there. Glitch, how does it feel to know that you like a murderer? I was supposed to be Frame sleeping one. in the infirmary, so he must have planned to move me before committing the You know, crime. Zilch sounds a lot like Glilch. I passed out in the restroom, but that didn't hinder his plans, so he went with it. Speaking of which, wasn't it Detective Four Eyes who told you to go to the first car? Yeah. He must have planned to make me witness everything and set me up as the culprit. No wonder he allowed it. Aha! I think I'm starting to see the whole picture now. Not bad, Master. Gameplay. Maybe you were a Gameplay. Big shot detective Gameplay. before you lost Gameplay. your memories. Dude, you know what they should have added to this game to make it better? They should have added like court squeak noises whenever I turn like, like like this all of a sudden. Just like just like squeak of like a shoe in like a freaking basketball court. Like, Dude, that'd be some intense gameplay, bro. No, if I really was a great detective, I would have caught the culprit in the infirmary before any of this happened. I guess so. By the way, where did he get the corpse he was hiding in the blanket? That corpse? Well, um. Oh boy, here we go again, guys. Ah, it's your boy. <laughs> I won't let you go any further. Getting in our way again, huh? If you stand against my ruthless master, he'll chop you up and stir fry you with veggies for dinner. I will not. Or I get the feeling that Yuma is gonna slowly actually become ruthless in terms of his personality. I'm also realizing how much of a debate it was to like have a cast introduction. A cast introduction in uh, one of the trailers when all that cast is literally dead right now. Master, I'm lending you a hand from here on out. I'll assist you when you're in a pinch. Huh? Assist? It's the rule of the mystery That's weapon cheating. to assist whoever you're accompanying. Now let's go, Master. Oh, looks like you might not need assist. By using assist, own, your partner will help this you out. The clincher. Oh, I can turn it off. So I can just make it so she. Do I can just turn her off. Nice. That's more realistic. How do I do that? I won't let you pass. Wait. Oh. Do it, master. Oh, I see now. Enough of your nonsense. I have. I've actually just activated it. Wait. I don't even know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> Yo, what is this music though? Hello? I don't know. You think he swapped with a corpse? Oh no, no, I know. It's Apex's corpse. Like it's Apex. Oh, hold on. What's the Someone button again? Review solution keys. Okay, yeah, there we go. Replace Silt. Would need to be the same size as him. I know exactly who that is. He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse. Hut! Hut! Yeah. Oops. Sorry. Fuck. I didn't mean to do that one. <laughs> that was not the one I was supposed to slash. Shut up. Hmm. Shut it. Shut. I won't let you pass. Yeah. Whoa. 
Nonsense. No, that's wrong. <laughs> huh? I should right. really stop slashing the wrong thing. <laughs> I won't let you pass. Whoop. Whoop. Enough of your nonsense. Your nonsense. <laughs> eh. You think he swapped with a corpse? Yes. It'd be impossible to switch like that. No, it wouldn't. Someone who could replace Silt would need to be Who's the same size as him. You're the same size as him. He didn't have a bag Oops. that could carry a corpse. It would have been caught at the station. It'd be impossible to get it on board. There was no corpse to replace anyway. No, that's wrong! It actually feels kind of satisfying when you get it right. Like a real dance. There's no need to bring an extra corpse for the swap. He just needed to reuse a dead body on the train. It's Aphex's body from the fifth car. He and Zilch are nearly the same height, and both have stab wounds in their chests. <laughs> so the corpse that was switched was Aphex's! Ah, damn it! How could someone like you find the truth? Someone like me? True! Someone like me? He's melting! Melt! Exploding! Oh shit! A ladder! <laughs> he looks completely obliterated. Now we don't have to fight anymore. Even if that's true, don't let your guard down. The mystery labyrinth isn't over yet. Guys, he's Stay dead for real, for real, for real on God now. Uh, Alright. Oh, it auto-saved. I just noticed that it said saving. Dun, 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 Wow. The aesthetics in this game, man. Short-tempered idiot would be used for Dude, a I look tired as hell. Thinking back, the reason the corpses in the first and fifth cars were burnt was to switch them out. But the corpse was so badly burned that I couldn't tell it was Aphex. That must be what the necklace was for, so I could identify him. Using a corpse is rather environmentally friendly of the culprit, don't you think? Most <laughs> totally stylish turns up. Did I get raincoated yet? No. Hi, welcome back, Taco. I mean, we got There's been a lot of interesting gameplay, actually. DNA, so you gotta get the most value out of corpses, too, A lot of fan too, service. You know? I don't think you were here for when I... Right before the first battle, when I, uh... When she just swallowed my whole, my whole arm. After dancing mm. with me. And almost kissing me. Tell me, Wall Street, have you been enjoying it, Bingo? Also, there's a part where there was Hangman's Gambit again. All the, all the minigames from Danganronpa are back as like 3D form. And Hangman's Gambit in this is she hides in a barrel with the swimsuit. And you gotta break the right letters on the barrel to break the barrel and see the swimsuit. And reveal the truth. This game was just pure... They just want, you know what, how about we just go all the way on the fan service? Silch? Wait, what the fuck? The fuck? Is this a boss fight? Wait, I am not the culprit. I am a victim who was already killed. So, leave me alone! Hey, he ran away! After him, master! It, yeah. Okay, the body I'll the get him! Cars infirmary wasn't me. But Aphex? Wait, he's getting away! But you went to car five after car Shit. one and Get discovered up. his corpse there. How was the corpse transported from Am I supposed to jump properly? Oh, don't go down the That'd require a gotcha. past you. Oh. Dude, this is like fucking uh, subway surfer. But way more deadly. Did he always have ears? Yeah he did. He had normal ears and fox ears or wolf ears or whatever the fuck. Okay, don't- okay, I don't know why I shaked on that one. Am I doing something wrong? I don't know if I have any control over- I think this is actually just me walking forward again. I don't think there's any actual input here. <laughs> Gameplay!
Wait, you know what I realized about this game? I forgot in Danganronpa, there was no voice acting except for the court trials. This game just has voice acting almost the entire time. Well, I'm glad you've been seeing parts of it. Oh, oh my god, it's only up! Taco, look, it's only up! See, this is where they got it from! Another mystery that needs I really to be like solved. her voice. I've been liking her voice more and more every time I hear it. When moving the body from car one to car five, the culprit moved through the train. No, did not move through the train. I think she went. Th I think he went through the top, just like I just did. If he'd gone outside the train instead of through it, he could have passed us. Isn't there so much infringement? Yeah, I heard that there was a waifu. That was just stolen or that had to re replace or some shit. No, that's impossible. Uh oh. Impossible. 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 The blood moon rises once again, Yuma. Impossible. Impossible. Oh shit! This guy became a fucking rocker. Wow. What about broken glass? I'm gonna boom kill him so bad. Here we go, guys. Well, only up made all their money, so there's only up to go now. Reasoning deathmatch. What about broken glass? They have fainted. Hold on. There was a black cat on shaking when the train car entered the tunnel. There was another shaking when the train exited the tunnel. Cushion would hold. Guys, we gotta get let go, okay? <laughs> this is so suspicious now for anyone who wasn't here for when I picked this up. Guys, look. We found a cushion with a hole in it. It's very important to the case, okay? Like, this is a real. We can obviously tell this cushion was used. So we we need this to solve the problem here, okay? All right, anyways. Pass through the train. Did you think the corpse was brought in from outside? The windows are all locked shut. The doors lock when the train is moving. We know the train never stops. Ah, fuck! I went too early. Shit! If the windows and yeah. doors are shut, huh. there's no way to get out while the train is moving. No issues occur during the train's operation. No, that's wrong! This is the truth! No, there was something strange. The blackout and shaking that happened when I was in car 2 and car 4. You know what this game is? Someone literally went like, yo, I love truth. I love the truth slash shit. Let's make a whole game out of it. Let's just make truth slashing the whole game. That's it. That's the game. Let's do it. When the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I'm certain something else happened in the train. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. Don't be stupid! So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? Same engine as UDG? I don't think so. UDG was like a completely different kind of gameplay. Maybe, I don't know. The graphics seem more refined than UDG though. Forget the shaking and the blackout. Yeah, you're like super into this game, huh? When Glitch actually stays for a whole stream, you know it's a you know there's a big booba lady in it. That's basically that's the conclusion. Alright, let's see here. Um The play identifying car five, it is burned and destroyed in an unusual manner, no longer resembles the original form. Burnt blanket that was placed over the corpse, even though it's knife stabbed through it, there are no blood stains. Backup control system was operating, it's possible some kind of malfunction caused the main system to fail. This seems kind of important. Nothing but coincidences. 
The blackout was just a bad contact. I'll smash through this mystery. The blackout didn't occur because of a connection failure. It was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. That control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the con main control system fails, and it will switch the backup system after one second. The blackout occurred during that one second when the system switched over. <laughs> Hey, he ran away! A fleeing phantom is a bad phantom! Is there such a thing as a good phantom? Yeah, a phantom thief. After him! You gotta keep solving the mystery and boom kill that mystery phantom! I'm gonna boom kill him so bad! Oh, not again. She's gonna pull me with. Oh, never mind. The chain That's will be coming out of her butt again. The cause of the blackout, but what does that have to do with how the corpse was moved? Oh, true. I meant the ghost bandies. The failed main control system was in car one, where the body swap occurred. Dun, dun, dun. If so, <laughs> dun, dun, the thank main you, Taka. control system's failure. Must oh no, it didn't show up. Moving the corpse. Bro, I gotta, I gotta fix this. Do it again. No, you're the first one was right. So maybe the culprit broke the main control system. He must have attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside. But the train never stopped. The operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time. So I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. Then why did the main control system fail? Hmm, it must have something to do with moving the body. But you're unsure exactly how, huh? In that case... I really like the clothing in this game. It's just so nice to look at. Why do you just randomly yell into the mic like that, Yuma? I knew it! A mystery is blocking you! Anything you lock in me. here is also they a mystery. So let's solve dance. it to keep on going. Yes, Wellsy. Should I just assume it's the same again? <laughs> Random for 25 seconds because it'll be 25 in two days. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, let me look at the clock. Okay. When the clock... Oh, let me just start at the at, at freaking zero. Twenty for, and then we'll do twenty five seconds. Okay, ready, set, go. You must way too dank. Yeah, basically. All right, that's ten seconds. Fifteen seconds. 20 seconds and yeah what the fuck it's the same what it started out yo rigged rigged all right <laughs> actually rigged yo i don't <laughs> there's no timer set on it it goes as fast as my clock speed goes From what I remember, anyway. Unless I screwed up, or as fast as Python wants to process. Uh, anything blocking in here is also a mystery, so let's solve it to keep on going. Did I just get my neck cut again? Yep. The main control system was lost when car one so was blankety blank, 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 right blankety now. blank, blank, blank. Swapped. It was sw Guys, I told you it was swapped. If, if car 5 ends up being car 1, I freaking knew it, guys. I, I want you guys to know I called that the moment it happened. The main control system must have failed because something happened in the first car. If that's true, what exactly happened? Or was it removed? Maybe it was just removed. Is that, does that fit in there, too? If it's related like to the body being moved, then how? 
Master's expression is so serious. He must be thinking hard. Well, as his mentor, I better think hard too. <laughs> the main control system failing. The blackout. The train shaking. Oh yeah! Why did the train shake like that? Let's make that fit better. There was a blackout right before entering the tunnel that was caused by the main control system failing. But the culprit didn't destroy it, so the blackout happened because... Uh... Oh, uh, wasn't there some shaking right before the blackout, too? She's trying After very hard. After the whole train shook, the blackout... That's right. The train shook right before the blackout. We still don't Dude, look know at her expression right now. They even like put poof on the I mean, puffy cheeks on the 3D model. Whatever it was, it was strong enough to make the entire train shake. Yo, Taco, if you're still here. Oh, you are still here. You said rig. I feel like Dude, it would be so cool if you could make a model with like the style of this game as a VTuber. It caused the main control system to fail and resulted in a blackout. Of them, though. I don't even know that's possible because they probably have different lighting systems in VR and whatever you use. I don't know how anything works. I'm just saying things. It would be a lot of work, probably. If it had something to do with moving a body, then what must have happened was... Ooh! Did I give you the assistance you needed? Close to solving the case now? And it's time to combine our powers and solve this thing! Yeah, because this is one of those 3D anime games that aren't actually cell shaded. They're just 3D. Let's go, Master! Lay it all out! Again? Oh, again! Is it gonna. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Is it gonna be a different. Is it gonna be different this time? It looks kind of like it's the same. We'll see, though. Alright. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say removed or swapped or cut. Let's see if there's an R. Oh, there's only two minutes. Please give me an R. What else could it be? Removed. Uh, released. Uh, ED at the same time? Okay, that's kind of important. R. Okay, here we go. Shit, hold on. No! What is it? Ejected. Her heard. Herder. Okay, you know what? Eat this. 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 Maybe something happened to the train when it shook. That doesn't help me! Uh, uh, That's not it. Shit! E! Shit. I'm running it! Guys, I'm gonna die! Guys, what's the word? Quick, tell me in chat! ED? I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. It's over. Detached? Damn, that makes a lot of. S Wait, does that fit in here? Isn't detached. Isn't detached eight letters? It. Try again, please. I died. Restart from the beginning? Hell fucking no. What the fuck? Bro. Oh no, where's my save? Please tell me I can start that game again from the beginning. No! You're gonna make me do this again? Master. The failed main control system was in part. If so. So he must have. But the. So I don't think. Why did the main control? Hmm. But you're un. Dude, they're gonna make me watch this whole thing again. There's gotta be a way past this, bro. There's, there's got, yo, bro. There's got, bro. This, ah! What a punishment! Wait, anything blocking you in here is. Oh, I skipped it somehow. No, I didn't. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. What is it? Car one was. So this is the question. We're removed. It wasn't removed, apparently. The main control system must Ejected have didn't seem to work. If that's true... Please, what please. Exact, if it's hmm. well, as his Not this again. There was a, but the, oh. ah. That's right. Whatever it caused, if it had something to do... Ooh, did I give you these? That it's time to combine... Please. Master, late. Save, let me save. You see a piece of shit game. 
piece of shit game. Oh my god, please, I can't lose again, guys. Chat, backseat me now. <laughs> Quick. Hi, Quick, guys. Cut? Cutted? <laughs> uh, d detached? Let's see. Okay, let's try to attach. Hold on. Eh. Go, go, go. D oh, wait, do you guys think that one letter is going to be ED? Is that what they do? That might be Cut. it. Wait. So you're right. In a in a darn tootin' way. Where's gimme A, gimme A. Gimme A, gimme A, gimme A, gimme gimme A. Gimme an A, gimme an A, gimme an A. Gimme gimme A, gimme an A. Come on. You can do it, Master! I know, I'm waiting for you to turn. You're it's very slow. Yeah, I think Taco was completely hundred percent right. Great. I should have known. Whoa, no, come on! I'm hitting it! Uh, it looks like the same swimsuit. Disappointment. Is there gonna be at least you a different pose? It, H, please! Is it gonna be the same pose? That's my. This is my eternal question. Oh, it's a different pose. Okay, so we got different poses. We take those. Could it be that the first car was separated from the train? Huh? Separated? What? Seriously? Yeah. The reason why the main control when are they gonna let me ride shiz? Because the first car was cut off from the rest of the train we were riding in. Let's keep going for now. Um, Master, I don't really. Why are you get slowing it. me down? I'm trying what to walk here. Hey, I'm walking here. Off. The shaking happened just before the blackout, right? Huh? Did it just shake? What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. At that time, the first car was disconnected from the rest of the Amaterasu Express. Amaterasu. As a result, the main control system failed, and after a brief blackout, it switched to the backup. But why cut off the first car? Why go through all that trouble? Of course, to move the body in the train car. To do that. Bom, bom, bom. Oh, not again. Ah! There it is again. <laughs> Way it's too dang. Ever. How much longer will this keep happening? I feel like I'm going to suffocate. Now is not the time to be suffocating. Oh, I just realized that the chain is actually attached to her hand this time, unlike last time. Last time was kind of suspicious. <laughs> Are you ever going to stop being Again? shocked about it? Dude, like, Link was shocked when he got grabbed by all the all the weird robot things. Okay, and then after that, he started being very serious because he knew that it was coming. Why can't Yuma do that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We need to resolve the mystery at hand. With the entire... Guys, there's no way I can't, I can't get this one, right? Given that the first car was cut off, so that the body could be moved... Right, I think I see what happened. Seems like you got it! Let's do this! Lay it all up, Master! The game review so far? What's the game review so far? Wow, another one! What pose is it gonna be this time? Try to solve it lickety-split! Um... Uh, along with the entire... Uh... With the entire, uh... Uh, with the, uh, with the entire, uh... Uh... Uh, uh, uh... uh, 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 uh shit. <laughs> 
Axe? <laughs> no, that's not prob that's probably not it. But Wait. I'm actually I'm actually dumb right now. Twirling, twirling. I I'm twirling. blanking out. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna hey, eat this, eat this, eat this. Car. Gotcha. That's right. Nice. No. Nice. <laughs> Got it. New pose? Question mark. Yep. Good pose. Appreciate. Ba 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 bum. That's right. He transported the corpse using the entire first car. That Oops, transported sorry. the corpse with the entire car? Nonsense. What the hell? He's not a furry anymore, he's a feathery! The first car is at the front of the train. Aphex's corpse was in the fifth car, in the back. Even if you detach the front Aviary? car, no, I like how do you move it all the way to the rear? Uh, um... Don't be scared. Lots of villains transform after they've been cornered. The tracks are a loop. That would make sense, actually. Calm down. Stay. Oh calm. yeah, the map Thank had a loop. The map actually had a loop in the tunnel. Oh, that's so smart. Good one. Good one. That actually solves everything. Yep. So I was actually right in the first place about the first car. Because yeah, guys, I was right. I'm a genius. You guys, let me know. You guys, let me know in chat. The position of the first and fifth cars. If I can answer that, I can solve this mystery once and for all. How did it happen? That reminds me. Master, earlier when you were talking about the shaking and mentioned the blackout? The blackout only happened once, but the shaking happened twice. Yeah, it definitely shook two separate times. Right before entering the tunnel, and right after leaving it. So what, is it automatically attached? Like, why didn't it reattach those? The first question. time was when the train car was disconnected. But what about the second? That's what I'm confused about, how this train works. Something happened to the train then, too. The shaking at the end of the tunnel felt similar to when car one disconnected. And also, they did say there was no car five before, or whatever. There's no point thinking about it. You're stuck in this labyrinth for all eternity. Master, here it comes! You gotta solve the mystery and defeat him! Your deductions aren't worth a damn thing! Because they're all wrong from the very beginning! Are you trying to say no that's wrong to me? How dare you? But how does it just re-rail? Don't they have to get bolted on like manually? I don't understand this part yet. Well I guess we'll fi figure it out hopefully. Um, route map. There we go. I, I figured it so out. Oh, it shook twice near the tunnel. You are done. I did not mean to use you. Oh my god, now I look like a cheater because I'm using the shield. You mean the train car was separated and disconnected? Why would that even matter? Even if you managed to separate car one, how could it be moved to the rear? The train was always running on the same tracks. There's no way to shuffle the train cars around. This is the truth. There we go. This is the tooth. No. At that time, not all the cars were moving on the same track. The track that the Amaterasu Express was on separated into double tracks right before entering the tunnel. 
So by taking advantage of the double tracks, dun, 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 it's dun, possible dun, to dun, switch dun, out dun, the train cars. Yo, I feel so envious for people who get into Danganronpa. Because now anyone who gets into Danganronpa from this point on have another game to think about. You know, other than uh, other than uh, World Dead Club. <laughs> oh, sorry, he, he winced at me calling saying World Dead Club. Ooh, a TV. The first time the train shook was before entering the tunnel, which was caused by car one separating. Oh, it worked like that? Oh, that's not how I thought of it at all. Hey, Poro. Wait, you have no service and you're here. Hi. After that, the separated car one entered the other track, while the Dude. rest of the train proceeded on the main track. I don't think that's physically possible. There's no way it would be fast enough to catch up. The two tracks rejoin after nah, the yo, nah. That's where car one connected to the also, end of the train. Also, why did it reconnect? This why did it even... train shook for the second time. What? What made it reconnect? You're right! The first car moved all the uh, way to the back! Bro. Bro, how? Bro, how? Bro, how? Bro, how? Please tell me. Guys, please tell me how this makes sense, bro. How does it just reattach? Is it magnetic? How is that? Is that that strong? How did it catch up? Even though their track it separated onto was longer. Oh, wait. Wait, there is one thing that would make sense. If that, that, that was the control car. So that car can move on its own. And that's why there was a power outage. So the control car was disconnected. There was a power outage. And then it reconnected. Once it caught up on its own... Uh, on its own acceleration because it actually can accelerate unlike the main body well the main body was on backup power but it wouldn't have a control room to move it just had power to power the electricity i guess okay now it can kind of make sense i just the one part that still doesn't make sense is how the attachments work on the train that's the one part that doesn't make sense right now to me i guess i it really depends on how the train is designed but it seems kind of weird trains automate sure that doesn't mean anything about how it physically is attached to each other all right, anyways. Also, yeah, Poro can't uh, hear me, so if anyone wants to communicate with him, please type it in chat. Normally, it's impossible for a single train car to function on its own, but the Amaterasu Express is special. Oh. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. Okay. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. Oh, so every train car has a motor. Okay. If each train car can operate autonomously, then car one can function on its own. So that's fine. Doesn't now that tell me how it reattaches. Everything? It's time you gave up. No, tell me how it reattaches. No, that's crazy. Huh? What? Using your method to rearrange the train cars would connect the first car to the end, which would leave it behind the fifth car. In other oh, words, wait, that's actually true it becomes too. the sixth car, but that doesn't exist. You never went through the fifth car? Oh, maybe the fifth car never existed. I think the fifth car never existed. So that's the only thing that makes you're sense. You're telling me you found Apex's corpse in the non-existent sixth car? Oh, you're right. Do you get it? You're the one who's wrong. Everything you've deduced is wrong. No, I'm not wrong. Oh my god, he almost the said truth it. Truth lies just ahead of us. He almost said it, guys. He almost said the thing. I will prove it to you. Again, again, again right now in the middle of a boss fight. From the start, it was a four-car train. I'm just gonna fucking hit it. Please? Go, go, go. All right, give me a good pose at least. No, it's the first pose again. We ran out of poses. No. The budget is gone, everyone. It's over. Oh, it's over, guys. The game's out of budget. It's over. It's done. We're just gonna see everything loop now.
Maybe the Amaterasu Express doesn't have five cars. What if there were only four cars to begin with? If that's the case, then to me, car one could be made to look like car five. <coughs> huh? So there weren't five cars the whole time, but instead four? That's why Melanie said the fifth car's door was broken while we were in transit. But you can't access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. This doesn't open because there's no car. So it wasn't broken. The fourth car was actually the farthest one back from the get-go? I'm sure the real fifth car was left behind at the station when we departed. So the train took off with only four cars. How did it reattach, game? There was another car one at our destination. If it connected upon arrival, then the train would have five cars again. Game, game. How did it reattach? So the car one where I was knocked out became the fifth car at the end of the line. How, how do I reattach? And when I was questioned Don't by Don't you dare avoid this question. The car one there was another car prepared at the station specifically for this plot. True, so that makes the money man evil, which is very expected, but... The real car one was waiting at the station's platform, then all the peacekeepers there would have noticed it. So they were all in on it. Or you can assume that the peacekeepers themselves were the ones who prepared the other car one. <laughs> if there was another car one, then there will be something that sets it apart from the original car one. For example, the way the window glass was broken in the infirmary will be different from how I broke it. You mean when you use the fire extinguisher to smash the infirmary's window? So they knew you would do that? That's how they were able to imitate it in the new car one? So that new car one was... Oh... I think I was set up to reach for that fire extinguisher. That's true. Remember how I said that fire extinguisher roundly came out of the case? And it was just there? The fire extinguisher was left in a conspicuous yeah. spot in the hallway. It was in, I remember I checked it and I was inside the wall before the I window. passed out. It was inside the wall before I passed out and something else started. swapping the first and fifth cars while in transit. Gotcha. It was all a trap to set me up as the culprit. They're not gonna... Isn't that right? Guys, they're not gonna talk about how they automatically reattach and detach, huh? Zilch! <laughs> nope, they're not gonna talk about it. Alright! We're almost there! Let's catch this culprit! Magnets at that speed? Man, like, maybe? That was a pretty solid deduction! <laughs> Very impressive! Of me for seeing your potential! It's so strange. It doesn't feel like I'm learning this stuff, more like I'm remembering it. So you really were master detective? Maybe I was even a high-ranking detective in the WDO. Now's no time for bragging, you still gotta catch him! Maybe you're right. actually- Why did he say that so loud? Do you guys not- Bro. Oh shit. What the hell? This looks awesome. Everything feels different here. This is just the calm before the storm. Uh-oh. Boss fight. You don't know what's gonna happen next. You know, making the first car look like the fifth was a really big trick to pull off. I really I'm like making these the set pieces. Cars could disconnect and reconnect so smoothly. The train's automatic operating system must have had it programmed before we departed. Even the trick with the swapping train car? They just keep talking. Dun, 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 dun. Still chapter zero, by the way. Holy. This is going to be a big one, isn't it? This game? Probably. It had to have been done automatically. Well, it'd be easy for Amaterasu. They own the train. That's what I'm worried about. Even if I obtain the truth here, won't they just ignore what I say and arrest me anyway? 
I keep telling you not to worry about it. As long as you have the truth, the culprit can't escape. Bum, 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 Why are you so bada. sure of that? Oh, random encounter. Just kidding. Nothing. Oh, what a cool castle. What is this? Looks like a fort to me. With this kind of protection, I bet the truth is in there for sure. You just have to destroy it. Easy. So the truth is here. I guess this scene's gonna happen a lot because he specifically has a sprite of looking up angrily. You can't have the truth. What the hell is this pose? It's impossible to destroy this fortress. Just give up and leave. Whenever a culprit takes a last stand like this, you know we're just a step away from unriddling this labyrinth. Master, time to show him how dangerous you really are. After all, he did try to set you up. I'm not worried about that right now. We're so close to the truth. Ain't that the truth? We gotta do this. <laughs> it's boom kill time! Boom kill. Bum, 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 bum. Zilch the spy? Yeah. I told you, this guy is probably glitch. Zilch is how glitch looks like IRL. Oh my god, it's floating away! Anifel. What the hell? Dude, these set pieces, man! This is badass! Oh, this is so cool. Whoa. Oh no. No one say it. Chat, don't say it. Okay. <laughs> we're good. Alright, we're good. Crisis averted. This is awesome. She's. I get to play as a giant. Overcome the last time a phantom tear through all the obstacles with mega sized god. Great onset destroyer, me. Yes, please. Oh my god, I got to play as her. Let's what is happening? She's just charging. Dude, this is just like uh, the other game. What the fuck was it called? Mm -hmm. This is just like. Oh, oh. This is just like fucking going on, man. No one can stop me. What? This is literally going on. The going on large freaking attack chase parts. I won't let you have the truth. I see, I see. Shinigami's Bowsette Junko. I, uh, I guess that kind of makes sense. Go away! Keep up and scram! I see. And jump to avoid thorns. Easy peasy! Watch out! Don't get stabbed! Oh god! Oh my god! If I hit the thorns, I literally get. Bro, I get fake Jun code. Look at that. Look at that scene. <laughs> Your deduction is wrong. Go away. Don't come near me. Don't come any closer. Stop it. Switching the first and fifth cards is just your imagination. It's a completely baseless lie. There's no evidence they ever swapped. Um. Oh shit. Yo, check, check. There's even obstacles that a god like God me can't destroy without a solution Come on, key. Hurry up and decide. Okay. Use the solution key to smash through the wall, master. There's no evidence they were ever swapped. It's kind of a distorted plate, really. No, there are traces of a swap. The warped plate from car five. The reason that plate was burned so thoroughly is because originally it said car one. This game is so freaking crazy. I love it. Left as it was, it would have messed up your <laughs> plot to make car one look like car five. <laughs> look at how insane this is for no reason. That's why you made extra sure it was burned beyond recognition. Nonsense! 
Can I burn the plate to disguise it? No! I didn't do that! Stop it! Stop! I hope so no too, Gravy. With it burned, you have no way of knowing what number car it was. So there's nothing backing up your deduction. Oh yeah? Watch this. You have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car. Check this. Ooh, this better. This is gonna look really cool, isn't it? Whatever this is. The blood stains on the interior lock. I think that might be it. There is proof. The blood stain on the inner lock of the infirmary in car five. You can hear. You can hear what the fuck is going on. Uh, this is like the final debate of a of an argument in Danganronpa. The culprit probably didn't notice it, but I remember. It's my blood. <laughs> what? When I was trying to get into the infirmary in car one, I cut my finger on the glass. I don't even know that. Dude, this is one of those freaking things that the main character somehow just doesn't tell you anything. When I reached through to unlock the latch, I must have gotten blood on it. But that blood stain would have been hidden while the inner lock was open. That's probably why the culprit missed it. My blood, which was left behind in car one, was found in I thought it was just five. hot. This proves that someone pulled off the car switching trick. Oh, you are destroyed. Here we go, this guys. Is the truth of the case? Huh? Yeah, but that wasn't. I thought it wasn't a cut. I think I thought he was reacting to the heat of the smoke. It's, that sounded like the exact same freaking reaction before he got used to it and just forced his way through. No drop kicks. I'm not done yet! What? He's still going? Let us boom kill you already! If car one became car five, then where did the culprit supposedly hiding in the infirmary go? Yep, Poro, it's Persona Danganronpa. You don't think smoke is hot? No, I'm not Okay, not the smoke. The fucking heat in the room, okay? Obviously the smoke wouldn't be hot specifically, but there would be enough- You're close after the fire for the heat to be hot. As hell. Especially if it was hot, hot burning for a while and made the even the metal part hot inside the lock. You had to have checked the fifth car, but the culprit wasn't there. Am I going to reverse time again? The culprit must have been hiding yep. somewhere in the fifth car, probably someplace safe. Where was Zilch hiding? Oh my god, is it going to be the actual control room that uh, was locked and they're like, yeah, there's probably someone hiding in there. I remember I remember she said that. You should probably check it. And I was like, I can't. Here. The culprit was hiding inside the main control room. Which was locked shut the entire time. She better acknowledge that she thought of that first. I didn't have the key, so I could never have gotten inside. I bet the culprit moved there from the infirmary while car one was running on the second track. If the train's management company, Amaterasu Corporation, was involved, the culprit may have had the key. And then they hid in a blind spot I couldn't see from the window. Holy shit, look at this. That's He's glowing. Not me. I'm not the culprit. Great detective work. I call that a critical hit. He seems like he's barely standing. All that's left is to finish him off. 
finish him off? Uh, how do I do that? Shove all your evidence into the solution blade and slash as hard as you can. Sounds good. Let's shove this up his ass. <laughs> oh shit, a whole cutscene? Okay. What? Bro, it didn't even show me? Time to expose this crime. Wait! Cheeks and everything! They really brought this back? <laughs> Never mind. Correct answer? This could be the clincher! Dude. There's only one truth! Where's Taco? Man, I wish Taco was, like, not dying. Taco literally was hoping for this. Alright. Gary boards a train. Yuma runs towards the train. Train departs with four cars and car five behind. Oh, no. I'm reading it backwards. Sorry. Freaking, I forgot. Japanese. Where did Yuma rush to? Actually, what do I have here? Amaterasu Express. Okay. Yeah, Pro ZD skit works here too, you're right. What was used to put the... You know what's right, actually? There actually is a hang Hangman's Gambit in this game, too, Poro. So can you spell the word? <laughs> it's actually still here. Hangman's Gambit is way hornier in this game, though. What was used to put the detectives to sleep? Coffee? I don't know if I have that yet. Okay, this is better if I don't use the cursor, I feel like. This cursor is confusing the hell out of me. Oh, you're right, not low levels of mistakes. Why well, did you use the red herring? The knife and pillow. Why well, did you use to break the window? Fire extinguisher. Where was the culprit hiding? Under the bed. Look at him! He's like evil... He's basically evil, uh... Takumi? Oh my god, I forgot what his name was. Is that what his name was? Oh my god, I forgot. What like happened when car one was detached? Blackout. What happened when... What was it probably doing in the main room? Hiding? I don't think I have that one yet. What happened after exiting the tunnel? Attachment to car one. Will the culprit burn? The culprit burned the car number plate. Body was found last, uh, Apex's body. Who's the culprit? I think that's the last one, sorry. Okay. So that means I'm missing... I need that coffee. Culprit doing in the main room. Uh, this game is literally all mini games. Like straight up, it's like the the entire palace is basically just a court trial.
This is basically a Danganronpa game. But I don't know where it's gonna go because the first uh, K the K Zero had everybody who showed up die. So I think that was just a debate, and now we're gonna get the real cast soon. Surely. Surely, guys. You're the only one! Mystery unraveled. You're the only one! We did it! Case zero closed. Or whatever. Step right up! Step right up! We're gonna get a dramatic master leader? detective slain before their time. And Amaterasu Corporation has master in their sights. Truth bombs are about to be dropped. Time for the deduction denouement! Ooh, how's this gonna sound? The incident unfolded aboard the Amaterasu Express, which was on its way to Kanai War. Why, because your favorite character was a murderer who killed himself? I rushed onto the train as it was about oh, cool. to depart. At that time, the train was made up of five cars. Yeah, no, oh, sorry, I, I read what you said, Gravy. I didn't say anything. I was focusing. If you'd kept snoozing, I'm excited to hear him. would never be solved. When the train started moving, it was only four cars long. The fifth and final one was left at the station. Oh no. And so the culprit scheme had already begun. Meaning Amaterasu Corporation was involved from the get-go. The get-go? On the train, the master detectives were gathered together in car two. That was the dining car. Culprit had already mixed a knockout drug into every drink there. Damn. I bet Culprit was the first person on the train, so they could prepare in advance and wait for everybody else. I can't believe it. He, he really couldn't talk to animals. He was just... I should have known the moment I saw he had furry ears, but he also had human ears. I felt unwell, and Melamie went to the trouble of pouring me a coffee. Look at all these great characters that are just thrown in the garbage. But after drinking it, I started to feel drowsy. I was hearing things at the time and thought that I might be seriously ill. But it was actually the drug. Oh, uh, so you thought yours truly was responsible? Sticks and stones won't do much to a death guard, but slander stings! I don't know who Brent Mukai is. Culprit sent me off to car one in order to frame me as the killer. I'm sure the culprit didn't expect you to get sick, Master, but since you look like a super easy target, I like how they, did this. they probably changed their plan and went after you instead. Once I'd left, the other master detectives must have fallen asleep because of the drugged drinks. The culprit then burned everyone to death. Also, they said that, uh... Zange died before his time? I don't think so, <laughs> bro. I, don't, I think he's already been through his time like 10 times, you know what I'm saying? Setting all those master detectives on fire! On purpose! What a psycho! This was when the culprit put their plan to frame me into motion. First, they carry Aphex's charred corpse to the infirmary in car one. The very first body we found. Then, they deliberately left a fire extinguisher near the restroom I was sleeping in. This was done to prompt me into smashing the door later. Boom, boom, boom. Cost us in three houses? That's like a literal random bandit. As far as I remember. Um, I... I can't wait for Makoto Naegi to come out and say it's hoping time and hope all over them. Yeah, that's probably gonna happen. There's gonna prompt me into smashing the door later. Gotta have someone get inside somehow, or else nobody would find the body. I feel like I would try to smash it and then I would just like bounce off the window and hit me in the head. Honestly. Next, the culprit entered the infirmary, locked the door, and laid down on the bed with Aphex's charred corpse. Either way, I'm, isn't that like a random bandit's name? I don't know, who cares. 
jumping into bed with a charred corpse. And here I thought chivalry was dead. You know, I should have suspected. Look, he has a feather on his on his outfit. I knew it. He was a liar the whole time. I'm actually a little jealous. A knife and cushion created the red herring. I'll have a way to pretend to be dead. Furthermore, the culprit set the room on fire just as I was waking up. While you were sleeping, I felt someone come into the restroom. They must have seen me then and timed it. When I Here's woke up in the question. restroom and went into the hallway, car one was beginning to fill with smoke. Even if I knew all of this, how am I gonna? How, how is my word gonna mean anything against this army of dudes that are surrounding me right now? Also, I don't, you guys can't see it, but there's, they've been showing like a little map here of uh, where everyone was at the time of each thing. I should probably should have been showing that on the left side. Oh, that's some precise timing! I caught a glimpse of Selch in the infirmary with a knife lodged in his chest. But it didn't take long for the smoke to obscure everything. Alright, maybe. You might be right about the change of heart thing. That was when the culprit took out Aphex's burnt corpse, switched places with it, and waited for me to enter the room while Actually, I, I guess the, I, the bed. I mean, yeah, even if I win at all the logical arguments, they can just overpower me physically, so... Someone else has to show up. Unless there's a change of heart system, which we kind of lame, but we'll see, I guess. Meanwhile, I found the fire extinguisher on the floor, smashed the window, Unlocked the room and went inside. Just like the culprit planned. And that's why they left the fire extinguisher there in the first place. Makes sense. After the smoke cleared, I found Zilch's body burnt to a crisp. I don't think she's gonna be in her waifu form when time comes back because she has to reserve her power. At They're least, gonna have something like that's that. That's what I thought. The charred corpse was actually Aphex. Culprit had me completely fooled. Oh, and then after the, the swap, he just picked... That's why the body was... I mean, the freaking entire table was flipped over because he moved the body over to the other spot. That must be why they picked the time-consuming method of roasting someone to death. Plus, the body was about the right size. I bolted out of car one after seeing the corpse. The culprit was under the bed at that time. The pausing, the summoning, opening the gateway to the... Labyrinth is what used up all her power near her to go full charged. They probably laughed at you from there, watching everything unfold like they planned. Pepe laugh. I went on to discover the charred corpses of the other master detectives. And around that time, the culprit came out from under the bed and went to the main control room in car one. Controlling the train from there, they detached car one. Out and shaking, and the power source was switched over to the backup system. So the train shook. Was there or was there not jiggling in the glass? Take a guess. No, because you're a ghost. While the detached car one was running on a separate I'm track, a genius, guys, I know. culprit went to work, preparing to disguise car one as car five. Or oh, sorry, I mean ghost what about blob four. First, Aphex's corpse was carried to the corridor, and the necklace removed earlier was placed back on. Then, the car one number plate was burned. Just ignores it. So that it couldn't be properly Chat. identified. With everything in place, the culprit went into the main control room, locked the door, and waited for the train cars to reconnect. Okay, but how did they reconnect yet? This time, the culprit uh, yeah. was going uh, to be in car one on oh, wait, sorry. another trap. Sorry. How, sorry, how do they... How do they... Uh, yeah, the how train, do they, um, which was only cars two, three, and four at the time, remained on course. How do they uh, reconnect again? Was Since that, we how, were that, in a tunnel, how do they... Uh, oh, I didn't oh, even just, realize oh, okay, car right, one nice. was moving alongside us. The train we were on went through the tunnel with only three cars. When it came out of the tunnel, the car with the culprit in it attached to car four. Now behind car four, that car became car five. 
The swap was pre-programmed into the train's automatic operating system, right? Wait, that's like an action. Are they gonna say that was? Technology sure is convenient. Also, oh, it literally just automatically can reattach using these uh, little swap things. Okay. Culprit right Fair in enough. car one, attached it to the back of car four. Fair enough. You know what? At this point, I don't give a shit. Okay, it's automated. Who cares? That caused more shaking. But there was no blackout this time because the power supply stayed the same. Every single one of these has a motor. I guess they can do shit like that. Additional shaking occurred inside my blouse, but the power stayed on. You were not in that form. That does not make sense. After that, I mistook car one for car five and walked right in. The culprit wrecked it so much, I didn't even notice the door I had smashed when I was in car one before. I figured there'd been some kind of brawl. That was part of the culprit's plan, wasn't it? Also, no one would realize it was actually car one. When I found the corpse, I deduced that it was Aphex from the necklace it had on. But I was just rediscovering the same charred corpse from car one. The disguised corpse and the car switch completely Oh! Me. Wait. So I just realized... He's not actually dead then. He's actually just alive then. Like the freaking culprit. Glitch, you still here? Your evil guy's alive. Using a dead body? Oh, just a disturbingly brilliant idea! When the train arrived in Kanai Ward, it can be yeah, a wondering, like, I was like, how did he suicide? car one. Oh, why would he burn himself? I was like, oh wait, they would just lie about him being burned. Duh, because he's working with them. And with that, the train once again had five cars. So much attaching and detaching. What a stupid, crazy, elaborate trip! The peacekeepers were lying in wait at the station. As the sole survivor, I was set up as the one responsible for the murders. And Amaterasu was in on it! That really turns me on! You mean, this is me off, right? No, she does not mean that. During that time, the culprit stayed hidden in the main control room of the disguised car one. You know she didn't mean that. waited for the peacekeepers to haul you in, Master. They were right there at the scene. After burning all the master detectives, the culprit faked their own death and tried to bring me as the killer. It was a cunning, cold-blooded scheme. And the evildoer who committed these countless contemptible crimes is none other than... Silk Alexander. Alexander! It was you! You were the only one! That's pretty, that's pretty badass. They still got the point going on. That's pretty badass. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> this falls over. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No. Here we go. The fight. This is the final strike. This is the truth I've uncovered. Oh. Knocked his soul out with that shit. That skull's like, ain't no way! Music? Sad music? Is that it? Is it time for a sad confession about why he's he was forced to do this? Because he grew up on an orphanage and the orphanage was set on fire and then the fire reminded him of fire so he had to burn everything else down because he needed to get revenge on the world because his orphanage was burned down and all his friends were burned down so everyone else deserved to be burned down too and here he stopped with nothing to burn everyone down. Is that what it's gonna be? What's this? It's the truth. It's the soul of the true culprit who made this mystery labyrinth. And it was all the, oh, oh no, no, sorry. It also it was all the detectives' fault because they didn't solve the mystery of the arsonist. They just gave up. And he would never trust the detectives again for betraying him like that. The soul of the true culprit. And WDO must die. And he'll stop at nothing. Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Now it's time for the main event! 
Here we go. It's my time to shine. What you gonna do? Whoa. Boo! You stink! Blood Shut the f up, guys. Overflowing despair. <laughs> This is important. This is an important plot. Oh shit. Is this the equivalent to executions in this game? Is it gonna look different for everyone? I just realized that. It's probably gonna have a different like animation for each one of these guys. I hope. Swank wears the silver grill engraved with the word money on it. Yeah, I know that. A grill made of gold is on order? Of course it is. Not good enough. Thanks, Wink. All right, let's see what happens now. I'm curious how the aftermath works. What? Uh huh? We're back? What are you talking about now? Your spirit shouldn't be broken yet. The peacekeepers will take care of you. Why are those guys we standing like that? All the time in the, the hell kind of peacekeepers are these? Huh? huh? Oh, okay, wait. So they're actually just gonna kick his ass. All right, cool. Shinigami, where are you? Nothing here's changed. What's going on? Shinigami, are you listening? Get him! Wait, I know who the culprit is. What? It's Zilch. He's still alive. He framed me. What are you talking about? He's already dead. Huh? But... Shut up. This is not up for discussion. Uh, what a waste of time. Take him away. Yep. Okay. So what I said was probably true and I'm still going to get him like screwed over somehow and have to work my way from the bottom. Shimigami, or someone's going to show up right go? now. This isn't what's supposed to happen. Who's going to last second show up? <laughs> I'm right here. Not you, someone else. You're so cute when you panic, so I had to enjoy the view for a bit. Stop playing around. Why hasn't the situation changed at all? He must be hallucinating. Mm. Taking him down shouldn't be a problem. Take him away. Hey, hey, boss. Hey, psst, psst, psst. What? He's dead! Looks like it's over. Wait, oh, so you actually just killed him with the truth? Huh? What the fuck? What's over? Shinigami, what's going on? Oh, you a it, she is Shinigami. She's a literal death god. There's always a price to pay. When I read the soul of the true culprit, the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. But as a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. Oh, okay, so she, he's actually dead. All right, there you go, guys. See, I was right. The source perishes? <gasps> Don't tell me. That's right. The true, the true culprit dies. Then that report saying Zilch, the true culprit, was dead. And that solves today's mystery. The true culprit is as dead as a doornail. So you save, you, you solve these mysteries by literally murdering uh, the person who is responsible and no one even knows that they were responsible. Okay, cool. You're now innocent and free to go, master. It really I is just punishment time. No, there's definitely going to be implications with this. There's nothing happy about this. Zilch died because I solved the mystery, right? Huh? He was a dangerous murderer who killed four master detectives. He deserved to die. I mean, I don't think I'm completely free to go. Not even with Zilch being dead. 
In that case, say exactly what I'm about to tell you to that gilded idiot over there. <laughs> and if you touch me, you're next. Okay. Swank, did you just receive a report that Zilch was dead? How did you know that? I thought so. Ah! If he was alive until moments ago, that changes things about this case. Someone who died in front of our... my... eyes... was alive. This is clearly an attempt by the culprit to disguise the truth. Don't tell me the peacekeepers lied to try to cover up what really happened. You didn't try to frame an innocent person, did you? But what? You think you can weasel your way out of this? You better not forget you're in Kanai Ward now. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking still. You're powerless before the might of the Amaterasu Corporation. No, um, I didn't mean... Hey, don't surrender so easily. You were so close. That does it. You're under arrest. Listen, you got no right to remain silent, <laughs> and you got no right to call a lawyer either. Damn, this is the future, isn't it? Take him away. No, wait. Hold on. Hold there it is. Just a second. This is who we've been looking hey, for. Excuse me. Do you have a minute? Our deus ex machina. You. It's all good. Let's stop all the fighting. Oh we my God. both have to follow orders from the higher up, so let's not do anything that causes unnecessary tension. It's hero? Falsifying I evidence and testimonies oh, is no, a drag when it comes time to do the paper. Are you talking with the voice? I right? Like it. It's tough keeping things consistent. Just forget about all that and leave it to me, yeah? You know, I saw that the true culprit was alive and well just a bit ago. It does sound like him. What? If you let us go, I'll cook something up in my report to the World Detective Organization. You don't want trouble, right? If the WDO floods this joint because of you. Your punishment might be kind of brutal. So it is? You know what to do. That's awesome. Leave things well enough alone. As now, they Pikachu say. sure is missing out. <laughs> Let's go. I like how he has a weird tattoo like mark on his actual pants and not like his leg. Oh, thank goodness that worked out. Who is he? Beats me. Cool, we met, we met a new character. I'm excited. We beat chapter zero though, right? Surely? Nope, we're still going. Hey. <laughs> alright, alright, fine, I'll talk to you. Say. I do appreciate there's a lot of older characters in this game. Yeah. That's different from Danganronpa. Oops. Stop. Is there a good place to stop, maybe? No, I think the good place to stop is when the chapter ends, which is hopefully soon. Well, I bet that was quite a long trip I need the for cliffhanger. you. Welcome to Kanai Ward. Thanks. It must be Yuma. Yuma Coco Head, right? Frickin' Coco Head. I am. And you are? I'm Yako Furio. Yako Furio. Hello. Hello, hero. I was born and raised in Kanai Ward. Just a humble member of the WDO. I'm the director of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. And the only detective agency in Kanai Ward. Oh, hey, I was trying to... I need to go to those guys. My office welcomes you. Nice to make your acquaintance. Uh, thanks. The pleasure is all mine. So he's a detective from the WDO. Finally, I've met an ally. He managed to turn away the peacekeepers, so he must be in high standing. 
Really? He's clearly just some careless middle-aged man. Classic. Classic for this guy. Oh, by the way, don't tell anyone about yours truly. You might have forgotten, but our secret is included in the contract. It'd be terrible if you broke this rule. Oh. To be exact, your whole body would be drained of its blood. So if anyone knows about Shinigami, I just die. Well, that, that answers that question, Gravy. Okay, I won't tell anyone. Well, even if you did, they'd just assume you're some crazy person. Now, shall we? Oh, by the way, I'd like to hear the details about this <laughs> incident. blood? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, Slimin. Uh, right. So I literally can't share waifu with anyone. That's the goal. That's the rule. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It took a while to get through all the proceedings. They practically interrogated you, right? <laughs> Kanai Ward is completely shut off from the outside no, world. we're gonna meet- I think we're gonna meet some characters soon. Communication devices such as cell phones are confiscated. Cameras are not permitted to leave Kanai Ward either. Even if you smuggle something with reception in, Kanai Ward is a dead zone. Thanks to all that tight closure, nobody's using this fancy station at all. Did you say no one? You show a lot of promise, considering how you handled that Amaterasu trouble. I was scared, to be honest. I don't want to deal with them if I don't have to. The uh, thing is, the peacekeepers always antagonize detectives. As a basic rule, never look them in the eye. They're always itching for a fight, <laughs> kind of like mad dogs. <laughs> Right. Amaterasu Corp doesn't want the unified government or the WDO meddling in their matters. I even caught wind of them hiring a hitman. A uh, hitman? They plan to wipe out any master detectives before they enter Kanai Ward. The result of which is this Amaterasu Express Massacre. So Silch was actually a hitman? Nope. There was a real master detective named Zilch. He was murdered beforehand, and used as a disguise. You were in the first car earlier. The real Zilch is laying dead somewhere in there. There was a separate first car at the station before you arrived, where Zilch's body was hidden. Then, the four train cars that you rode in would arrive at the station in Kanai Ward, and connect with the fake first car. That makes a total of five dead master detectives at Kanai Ward's platform. Oh, so every single one of them was actually dead. So I'm still an extra, then. With no master detectives left, you would be arrested as the only culprit. Now, they would go to such lengths? Absolutely. Even though the plan didn't work, we still lost five master detectives. Given the situation, I'm honestly surprised you survived, Yuma. That's all thanks to me. You're so lucky to be haunted by yours truly. Wait, if there was a real Zilch, then the number of people yeah, on board I'm the Amaterasu Express... Including me, that makes six people. The numbers still don't add up. I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was... Precisely five. She's oh, I'll dead. explain that later. Anyway, let's leave this place. Oh, you know about Wouldn't want to give the peacekeepers any ideas. Very slow walk. Oh, damn. Look at these aesthetics, guys. The guy has a hood, I don't got shit. It's raining. Hey, this is like from the first trailer ever. I remember vaguely. Thinking it was so badass. Why was it raining significant, I wonder? Also, what does 47 of the disguise mean? What am I missing? Hey look, it's the last card that was missing. Who the hell is that? Who's that guy? 
Beats me. All right, good enough. You don't, they don't get paid enough for that shit. All right, cool. That was a very vague teaser. I guess we're not going to meet anybody until Wednesday. That was, yo, I'm so excited. We're literally... I see, I see. Once a Culper has boom kill to get a reward based on how well he did inside the Are mystery labyrinth. Are you going to remember all of this? You get a reward for everything <laughs> between SS and C. Not only do you get a reward for the rating you receive, but every rating below it. The trash room at the top. Okay, what did I get? What did I get? Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Oh, nice! Uh. <laughs> I did get hit by a lot of words. Guys, I did get hit by... I'll admit it. I did get hit by a lot of words. Not ideal. That was kind of dumb of me. But, uh, you know, we just, we just don't talk about that. All right. Yeah, like it's just it's just me getting my ass kicked. All right, anyways, cool. Still got an S. We take those, I guess. All right. Oh, Agent Forty Seven hit me. Oh, true. That is actually what happened. All right, guys, we're on chapter one now. Uh, I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm just gonna stop here. So, guys, perfect place to stop. I'm gonna. I'm very excited. We're literally. It feels like we're literally playing Danganronpa again but in a completely different style, but the gameplay is literally like an enhanced version of it. So that's awesome. I'm very excited to play more. We're going to play more. Not an escort. What? Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. All right. Anyways, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to play this again on Wednesday. Tomorrow and Thursday are going to be uh, Tears of the Kingdom. And also I might watch whatever Melzi was talking about. She wa he wants to share something at the beginning of tomorrow's stream. So, yeah, he linked it to me. He told me not to look at it, so I'm not going to look at it until tomorrow. All right, guys, so we'll see that around the beginning of the next uh, stream. And if you guys want to see more of this, Wednesday, YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I'm glad to be back and playing one of these kind of games again. This is so exciting for me. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye.